waiting. I've been waiting all night. What do you got now? Okay. For some reason, the stream didn't come up. Hold on a second. We don't have it now. You think we do? I'm thinking. This is a stream. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're there. Really? I see you. Who's there? I see you here on this one. I'm going to wave. I'm doing my imperial wave. Anybody wave back? Everybody just go home. Just take the turn. Well, if these folks would ever go live, we'd do it, right? I didn't mm -hmm. see you do that part. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Oh, you're looking up. Now you're waving. Now I'm waving? No, now, now you're giving me that look. You gave me that look. <laughs> you gave me that look. I can't believe you gave me that look. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, let's okay, see. Okay, now we have to tell them what happened. It's like 8 o'clock, and like John and I bought this new, well, John bought this, found this new software at 2 in the morning that he thought would make our live stream less buffering. And he thought- It worked great last night did, it, testing it. It, it, testing it. And so we, you know, uh, with the joke of the family is that we could either buy a new car or we could buy the software. And we thought, well, we'll just buy the software, right? And then, you know, you can't take it back. And it kind of worked last night in the demo and we spent the last hour, half hour, 30 half minutes, hour, 30 trying minutes. To, to get it back up working. So it seems better as how are we, are we up? To, can yeah, we wave? Up. Hi, guys. All right, so I'm kind of relieved. I've just been doodling here, thinking, well, at some point we'll be up. I'll just put this away for the free giveaway now. So we're <laughs> going to do a giveaway for you patient, lovely folks. We're going to give a giveaway at the end of the show. Not only are we going to give away a 10-minute, uh, one of my 10-minute original paintings because you and, and some of our fabulous tub of towel uh, samples, but we're going to give away a free downloadable lesson too and it, it might even be that one that we just uh, announced too that we just offered someone's going to win that you might win what, the, what, which, what, which one? the one with the um the back to basics <gasps> series one with over 22 videos in it we're going to give away well, there, 24 right. it is over 22 so um we're going to give away that because you guys were so darling if you hang with us till the end of the show we're so sorry that uh, it took so long but you know Nobody liked the buffering, and we just threw the dice. And you know, probably won't be buying lottery tickets tonight. On the other hand, I think we're okay. We're not buffering, so that's something. Well, so, so far, we're not buffering. So far, so I think the new software works. So you guys will have to let us know if you experience if, if any anything, buffering. anything at all. Let us know. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we have to adjust our volume because everything got moved. Everything around. got moved. We moved the whole studio around. That that was a. Yeah, that was the John, thing. I was low. watching John just move all the wires, like there's thousands of wires in here. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he knows where all, they all go. That would just, I would just sit on the floor and spin. All right, uh, is, is Ginger's voice good? My voice and, good? And I, and I have mine, so see if mine's better. Mm. Where's my, I'm, I'll, I'm probably still low. Mm. Oh, I, I can share you something while John's figuring out the voice thing. You're I'll tell fair. you some, a fun little thing. When we were on the Alaskan cruise, I got to, went into the hair salon there I don't know if they call that stuff anymore. In the old days, we used to call it a beauty shop, then a hair salon. It got upgraded to who knows what they call it <laughs> now. Those days are gone. Whatever, whatever they called this thing, the spa. Now it was the spa, right? You know, we, we now we're in a spa, hair spa. And, uh, you know, they were offering keratin treatments. And um, so I thought that would be fun to do. And so I went ahead and I got a keratin treatment for my hair. And I will say this. This is what was that, like about two and a half weeks ago. And what it does, if anybody wants to know what it does, because I wasn't sure, they, it didn't look like, I think anybody could do it themselves. I don't know if you had to pay someone to do this, if you could buy the stuff, because honest to gosh, she just put it on my hair and then took a flat iron, flat ironed it in, and then, you know, washed and set my hair. So, I mean, not set it, but, you know, washed and blew it out. So it didn't look real tricky. But in any way, it, the stuff's, I guess, guarded under lock and key. So anyway, what it does is that after, like today, I, last night I shampooed my hair, didn't put any, um, you know, of course I use conditioner, but I didn't put anything else on it. Usually I put all kinds of gels and all kinds of heat things and stuff on my hair so it doesn't go too frizzy. And um, it was like I flat ironed it. It, was, it did work. And I just, all I did was just do a little curl on this. So that is my, I'll, I'll keep you posted on the, how long it lasts and, you know, whether it was a great thing or not. It doesn't, I haven't tried to pull the full set of rollers in it and then see how fluffy I can make it. Well, I suppose one could, but I'll let you know. But I was I thought for easy could. wash and wear, that was a good thing. How's my voice? Are we good with that now? Well, let me talk. No, I'm still too soft. Hold on a second. I'm going by your view. Your view, you mirror Are mine. we getting some feedback? Hey, hello? I need quiet so I can talk. Okay. 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 Hello? Hello. <laughs> 
Are you giving me that attitude today? <laughs> you have got that attitude today. I'm telling. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can talk now. Go ahead. <laughs> Now, if you're hearing a humming, it might be the fan, because we do have a fan that's fairly close to her right now because we're warm. It's, and we hear humming <laughs> too, John. All right, I'll have to, will you stop that? <laughs> I have to get my headsets and see if I can hear a humming. Okay. Okay, do you know this? <laughs> now I hear a humming. <laughs> she. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's <laughs> you know, I struggle for this thing to put the show on good for you. Oh, oh no. my, hold on. It's terrible humming. Let me see which mic it is. Hold on. Not that one. Not that one. <laughs> oh, it's your Something one. else away. <laughs> get the farm away. Oh, get hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Hey, wonder if the, cause this is so close. Hold on a second. All right, let me just unplug you for a second. <laughs> hey, you know, you people wanted live. <laughs> Just. Oh, you have got hum. Who's got hum? <laughs> oh, man. We're. Well, well you yeah, move we the soundboard, what do you here. get, right? I say we can start the giveaway now. We <laughs> should do a giveaway now. Start one at least. And Just with the patience factor here, in case they didn't want to wait for the full show. To get something away now. Wait a minute. How come you're not coming through on that one? I give up. How come I'm not coming through? Why aren't you coming through? I give up. Why aren't I? Talk, talk louder. Talk louder. No, you must be coming through my mic. Your mic. Talk on your mic. I, well, how would I talk on my mic? It's back here. Here, should I take it off and talk? No, about? no. Hello. Oh, that worked. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we need to do is clip it to your lip. <laughs> you know, people pierce their, li they pierce their lips. Just right here on the nose. Oh, that would work. That's on the nose. We'll clip it right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, but we have a hum on you. We have a hum on you. We have a hum, no, hum on you. you. I told you we should go to singing. <laughs> I'm telling you. All right. I All right. Is, is Ginger any better? Well, well, she I'm has to talk. All right, why do you ask, two dogs? Are you, talk down to the mic again. Talking down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to talk down to the mic. Microphone, you're terrible. You're a terrible microphone. Bad I don't microphone. Know why do we have a bad microphone? Bad microphone. I'm going to talk down to you. Why do we ever buy you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're killing me. Okay. Can you hear me now? Okay, can you hear her? I seem awfully loud in my head. Can you hear me? It's really you sound far to couch. me. We don't care. You can sound you far me? to me. This, can you hear me? Talk again. Talking. Okay, talking, well, let's talking. try this. Talking, talking, talking. Talking, talking, talking. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring it up. To the square Miami. Three. I'm and I'm turning me down. All right, let's try this. I give up. Let's try it. No ginger is not clear and loud. No muffled. Low ginger. I need an adult pull-up. <laughs> <laughs> ginger mic isn't close enough to, or something. Well, it's right on her lapel. Here's the mic, folks. See, when you do that, it's great. So let me, hold on a second. We got rid of most of the home. Let's get, here's the mic. You want to clip it to my hair? To my ear, how about? I give up. Did we change one of these settings? I don't know. Life's a mystery. Just all this stuff's a mystery to me. Man, so wonder any of it works at all, isn't it really? And it doesn't seem to matter how much money you spend. It still doesn't work. Let's see. If you're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's what the nose rings are for. Most people have a nose ring. I have one. I, I should do the nose ring just to hang my microphone on. You know, just to. All right, how's that? Yeah, how's that? Go ahead, yell out. We'll hear you. <laughs> I'll shout. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll get to back now and see what we're getting. That was a six. All right. Hold on. Hold on. All right, is she any better? Is 
she any better? If you clean, I tell you, whoever watches this show next is going to, um, people are just going to skip this. We have no way to edit this. We can just take it down. Maybe we'll just take it down, you guys. You'll you get it. You get it. It's good broadcast over here. I don't get it. Hello. Well, I can hear you, John. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, John. I say, old boy. Okay. Oh, house tricks. Okay, how how we doing? Is everybody good? No, no ginger, no ginger voice. Where's my earmuffs? Oh God. No ginger voice. Wow. Talk. Talking. You're soft. Yeah, but it, do I have a voice? <laughs> I know I'm soft, but do I have a voice? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> it's digressing. It's digressing, friends. But. Hang in there, great giveaways, whatever, right? Yeah, we're going to bribe you. We're going to bribe you to hang in there with us. us. We're going to, the first giveaway, and as soon as we get it going and hear my voice, we're going to start one anyway, right? We'll do a first one right away. Just just to hang in there for those of you who hung in there with us this long. What's this? Oh, new microphone. I'm going to hold that mic for a second. I'm, (laughs) sorry. Uh, Yes, I'm going to hold the mic. Hello? Shh. Wait a second. Wait. My ears on again. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna turn off your other one. Oh, okay. Talk now. I'm gonna talk now. How's Whoa. this? That's a good mic. Hello. So, can you paint with one hand? Not so much. <laughs> Maybe I can just tuck it in here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that may not be a bad idea. I, if the cord was longer, I would just uh, just tuck it in my shirt oh, here. Oh, that is perfect when you do that. <laughs> just kind of rest it right <laughs> Do we have a stand? I could. Here, how about this? Let's take. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. We have an official stand somewhere. Yeah. What kind of. What's wrong with that? Because we can't hear you now. Now, can you hear me? No. Why not? Because it's not close enough to you. Well, it's like, it's like three feet, it's a foot away. How close does it have to be? It's just, Okay, see how mine is? It's designed to be used that way. Oh, well, what do you got? <laughs> Just what do you got? I could, um, we can hang it down and hang it in front of your face. We can, can we do that? We've done that before. Well, can we do this like this? And then, then I can, if, if I can hypnotize you. It's going to be like the old wrestling days. Yeah, that, we're going to hypnotize you, right? Let's see. Mike's that way. Yeah. Let's see if we can just. All right. Let's just hang it down here. How's that? Then I can just, like a cat, <laughs> I can bat it. <laughs> just bat let, me, it. let me see if I can hear you there. Can I hear you now? Okay, talk. I'm talking. How's this? No. Lower? Well, no. You have to be closer. <laughs> How's this? That's perfect. But you can't paint that way. Well, sure I can. I'm painting. <laughs> I'm painting. I can paint that way. Oh, I can, man. I, can... I cannot believe this. I know. Well, the, it's, it, the devil's in the details. <laughs> the devil, okay, let's try the other microphone for a second. Okay, talk. I'm talking. Now, if I use them both... Then I think you'd get an echo or something, yeah? No, the mixer mixes you together. Oh, yeah, so how's this? But you unhooked me. I don't know. Oh, here it is. I guess it's still here. How, how is it now? Let's, let's, let's try it. Okay. Hey, we're going to try it, guys. What do you think? Okay. Bad mic. Okay, here we go. All right. Um, I'm going to now zoom you out. Watch this new transition. Ready? Yeah, I can't wait. Go. Oh, look at that. That is so cool. All right. I almost want to do it again. All right. Quit playing with my toys. <laughs> but it's so cool. They're so bored. They're, they're so over us. <laughs> they're so over us. Are you sure? I would be. I'm going, God, these people ever get their act together? This is incredible. No, seriously, though, this is a... This was a major investment. We had to make a major decision here. Yeah, we you know, really, we were we trying really to do the best for a, you guys. We finally couldn't make a decision and ma- we... We got one of those things that swirls around, says yes, no, and it said yes, so we bought it. I don't know, because um, we couldn't decide, because it yeah, really we, we, was so we out of the, budget we, for us, and we really wanted this to we, work. We, we asked the eight ball. Remember, yeah. remember the magic eight ball? I yeah. love those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I okay. said everybody would get some sort of giveaway. Let's give one one way right now. Well, what are we giving away, and how are we going to do well, it? Well, what we're going to do is... Um, I don't have a room. I don't have anything set to just automatically do this. Set, I thought you had it set up ahead of time. Well, I do. 
So also I don't have a link. Okay, um, I'm assuming the moderators out there have got the link to the giveaway. Do we have? Do we have a moderator left? Did they all just curl <laughs> up and go? <laughs> well, I haven't seen any names go by, so I think we could be on our own here. You think we're on our own? No, well, Elizabeth is there. Hi, Liz. She's uh, hanging uh, in there with us. She's a true friend, man. She's hanging in there with us. With all uh, Kim's great there, decisions. but she, she doesn't she's get the links. You know, she's like praying for us too. Which we appreciate it very much. She's like, <laughs> Somebody has to work on it. Somebody has to work on it. I mean, Elizabeth. We appreciate it okay, that. Elizabeth, do you have the link for the giveaway? Just nod your head. Okay, I see that. Go ahead and post that so we can start collecting people's name, and we're going to be giving something away. I don't we're, know how many people we're, are we're, we're going to give away right away. Right, right away. away. We're, we're, we're not messing around our anymore, people. 84, um, 24, what is it? 24 video back to basics series one um, hoopla. Hoopla stuff. It's a set. It's just We just released that last week. We've sold a lot of it. We know that the feedback we're getting is some of the best lessons on basic acrylic painting. Um, and it, it, we start you off with 15 minute videos. We even have a video on how to wash your brushes, how, you know, everything. If you never saw acrylic paint, paint in your life, we tell you what to buy, how to wash your brushes, how to do all these brush strokes so that you can turn around and you get all this down easy peasy. And we tell it's a refresher course for some of you guys who have been painting a while. And Eve, if you've been painting with other acrylic artists, I've been painting with acrylics for really honestly 50 years. Truly. Wait, you're not that old. You're only 52. I know, 50 years. And here's the deal. When <laughs> I started painting, nobody had ever heard of acrylics. Just me and... Um, me and the guy that invented it. Yeah, me, me, just the two of us. We're just us. <laughs> <laughs> me and Methuselah oh, were the only two that were painting. <laughs> hey, the rest of the staff has shown up. Judy is here. Tanya, oh, thank Wendy. You, thank you. Hey, so, thanks, guys, for hanging so, in there so with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to give away a, a, a complimentary set. And if you already own a set, we'll still give it to you, and you can either trade it out for another video, or you can give it to somebody else if you want to gift it to somebody else. But we're going to do a drawing uh, right now, so go ahead, and uh, what do they have to do to do that? Uh, they, they've already told them. They've told them. So we're going to draw. Hey, we'd about. like to thank two, two World Swings once again. To make live streams is not cheap. Remember to support free art. Thank, thank you, you for your donation. Appreciate it. Make, very cheery. Thank you. Very. <laughs> you have a tissue over there. Do I? Oh, yeah, look at that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> are, are you going to paint tonight? Yeah, I am. I am. I just, oh, hey, you show that Monet that you're doing for VLL. I'm, I'm saying that because the secret word tonight was floating studio. Oh, the secret word tonight was floating studio. Now, look at this. Is this not going up painting tonight? This is our lesson for this week for our video lesson library. You know what this is? This It's was a floating studio. Done by, it's Monet's floating houseboat studio. How cool is that? In my wildest dreams... It never occurred to me to have a second studio that floated somewhere. <laughs> well, actually, we have it. We do. Called it's called Royal Caribbean. And, and my lifeboat on my cruise ship is bigger than his little floating studio. So, nanny, nanny. <laughs> You're not being nice to Monet. Come well, on. <laughs> just anyway, that's that's the lesson. And we're going to do a traceable on it. We're going to show you how to just trace it on so you don't panic. We're going to call it a two-cookie lesson, but it's a great one. You know, we've been really you know, pushing a different ways to paint things, right? Like, for instance, you know, that's a way to paint things. You guys remember that uh, last week we did... Um, that's not last our, week. Our, a couple of weeks ago. We Some did, time ago. Uh, you know, last month we did this one, which was another old dead guy. ODG. And, and again, different kind of brush strokes than Monet. See that? I mean, totally different, all right? And then, if you guys remember, sometime, uh, last year we released this one. Oh, where, I love and, that you one. Know, this was uh, more in the Thomas Kincaid style. And the reason we released so many different kinds of styles, and I just don't teach you to paint like me, because I absolutely have a style, but I don't just teach that. It's because I want you to have your own style. And when you do a whole bunch of these, you somehow start developing your own painting writing, and it gets really cool. So that's really... Um, that's what I wanted to show you. That was I thought that was way cool. Way and like cool. for instance, last night this was our giveaway for last night. Isn't that pretty? This waterfall. And if you haven't seen this lesson we did last night, um, it's a must watch. It, it's a must watch. It was yesterday afternoon at noon, and we didn't uh, really publicize it very well. We uh, kind of my daughter Cinder and I made this deal where we would um, not step on each other's not toes. step on each other's uh, YouTube toes, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and. And, and so we had, and, and she's, we had to take into consideration 
her time with the grandkids on Sunday and all that stuff. So it, it, she was okay with me going at noon or at four. And we thought noon was better. We would get more of our European audience. And then t tonight we would get the, the rest of everybody else, except that, of course, we're sorry we were late. We're so sorry. But anyway, again, this is a different style. But I give you the six things you need to know to paint water. This is a, you should watch it. Watch that. This is a must-see video, really. Hey, so, could you say hello to Zach from uh, Canada? Hi, Zach from Canada. Thanks, thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Really, I so appreciate it. Anybody else I can say hi to? <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the one that came up. Oh, all right. Well, well you want to say hello to Valerie and hi, Valerie. Uh, Rory and Lori. Nicole. Nicole, and Nicole. Marie's was here. Was that Nicole? You said the one that... No, I, it's another Nicole. Give it Nicole. Well, was, you Nicole, know. Nicole S. Nicole S. Do I know Nicole? Well, we know you now. See? We're Victoria all Snyder's with us this evening. Hi, Victoria. I'm so excited that you're going to join us on our uh, February... Uh, uh, it's on January 27th. Birthday so cruise. On, birthday cruise. Birthday bash cruise. So hey, if you're interested that. in a birthday bath cruise, what we're talking about is a upcoming Royal Caribbean cruise where we take Ginger on a cruise and celebrate her birthday. And while we're doing that, we'll probably have some painting time. If yeah. we get enough people, we're going to be able to... Get a private room. Private room and be able to have little working seminars and things like that. Well, which we'll do. Which we'll, which do. we'll, we'll do. have a really if good time. If you're interested. There is a limit of, of, like, I think 40 is our limit. So you want to, you know, I would, if we gave you six months to, you know, figure out if you can. You can make a tiny deposit and then just kind of, we want to give you six months to, you know, be able to save the shekels to do it. But... You kind of, the sooner you can make a deposit, and by the way, you do have to go through our travel agent if you want all those perks, because the travel agent, the one travel agent, even if Ties it all together. Ties it all together. We all sit together. We learn the hard way. If you don't do that, then nobody's sitting anywhere, and it's like a, you this weren't a, on the cruise with me. Yeah. All right, so this is what we're painting well, tonight. Wait, wait, one more thing. If you want more information on that, go to gentrecooklive.gallery. Use the contact us, us and, and put in birthday stuff. cruise for subject. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. No, I, I want you to gentrecooklive.gallery find that out because we'll keep talking about that because we think that's really fun. It's a chance for us to meet each other, really get together in person. Um, every time I've met some of, the, some of you guys, it's always been a wonderful experience. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to do it. Now, today we're going to be painting this country scene. Again, it's a different style than all the other ones that we've done. And, but we're going to learn some secret about painting grass. And this is an 8x10 canvas, which we're going to start out with just a blue canvas. This was one we happened to have. So, um, you know, we always use our leftover paint. I think that was a good example of gradation, too, wasn't it? Yes, but it was. it doesn't really matter. This is what we're starting <laughs> with, like this. So, oh, really? Well, because it's that, That's your choice on. of canvas when you're doing a... Okay. Well, it's just the way it is, John. Just listen. We're lucky to get anything up. All right. So I think we before we start. Again, it's an underpainting. Before we start, let's do a drawing. How many people have? Uh, how many people we got in this particular drawing? I haven't even gone over there yet. I'm sorry. Well, how many entries do we have? Because I told what? people before we started we would give away that, so they weren't waiting. Okay. You, you know now I have to go do that. One, one moment, please, please. I, I've got to go find it. Can I? Got, I'll start this while he's finding. Okay, you guys. Go while I'm that? finding. What he's finding. All right, so what I want to do is I want to come down. A horizon line is going to be about uh, three inches down from the top of the canvas, like this, on a nine by, uh, eight by ten, about three inches down. One, two, three. Is that this? Right there you go. One, two, we have three. 224 entries so far. How many? 224. Well, that's fair. You guys, you hung in there with us. So one of you guys has better chances of one of you winning it. So let's, let's do a drawing for that between 1 and 224, and somebody's going to win that fabulous, fabulous. You own it. It's downloadable. You own it forever. You keep it on your computer. When you travel, you don't have to be connected to the Internet to watch it. And it's like... Um, it's like gold. Like one, it's, it's like the best... One of the best oh, I'm sorry. We got up to 233 while we were chatting. Okay, yeah. So, you, yeah, you want to make sure that we've entered that. Sorry. Okay, this is for the... The uh, Back to Basics Back series, to basic series one full yeah. collection. At the end of the show, we're going to give away a free. Uh, we're going to give away one of my ten-minute paintings. I've kind of started one. Oh, look break. at that! Sort of started. I love one. that background. I know. Wonder who did that background? I bet you did. You know. Probably that bear. Probably that bear. Anyway, we're going to do that. So. I love that background. Um, just thought I that's that's going to be a ten-minute at the end. This is separate for your patience because we so appreciate it very much. All right. Oh wait a minute! We're going to two hundred thirty-five. 235? They're coming in live. All right, we're going to do a drawing right now for the Back to Basic collection set. Alexa, I need a number between 1 and 235. Your random number between 1 and 235 is 106. 
106. 106, all right. I think I'll take my earmuffs off now. I think we can go with what we got, sound wise. Okay. We'll have to work on that some more. What, we, apparently. <laughs> all right. So, uh, 106, so let's see. Let's drum roll, please. Is that me or you? I don't know. Maybe you know how to do it. You know who won it. Who? I cannot believe who won it. Who won it? Martha Trower. Martha Trower? T R O Tro Tro wait Tro Trow. T R O Y E R. T R O Y E R. Troyer? Troyer? Tro Troyer. Martha Troyer, congratulations. That's Use the contact awesome. us so we can get you set up. Oh, somebody made a donation. I'm sorry I missed that. Oh thank That's you. That's on the wrong screen. That. We should appreciate that. We Oh Sharon Straight. Thank you, Sharon. Keep laughing, you both are great. What's we that? do not laugh. We take everything seriously. Well, yeah, what are we going to do, right? <laughs> yeah, it was laugh or cry, right? It doesn't work. Now watch this transition. I'm going to square up her picture. Watch this. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, so I'm, Sorry. I'm here. I'm going to come down about a finger's worth and do this. And then I'm going to come over here about two, two fingers worth and do that. And I want an S here on its side like this. We're just going to kind of do an S. Be kind of a long, sort of a short S. Here's a curve. I don't like that chalk. We need a new plan B for the chalk. All right, here's our little S curve like this. Let's put a little light on the stuff here. Oh, that helps. Gosh. Why don't you say something? Uh, you know what? It's just been a tremendous night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it and I go, why is that left so much darker? I give up. Why is it? Because right, so half the lights were off. So here, here it is, right? So if you're wanting to know, see, here's our, oh. um, it just kind of an S. If I were to turn it upside down like this, you can see where there's like a little tummy and it goes like that and like that. Can you see that? That's our S. All right. That's our road. This is called an S-shape uh, picture pattern, by the way, in case you were wondering, okay? S-shaped picture pattern, all right? And uh, gosh, I'm so excited that, uh, that we already Martha have has never won anything. Well, congratulations, Martha. We love it. Yeah, and you, and you got a great thing. Hungry. You know what I don't have, John, is white paint. I left it in Studio A. Uh, oh, no. Uh-uh. 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 I said to you clearly. I lied. <laughs> God. I don't believe you. <laughs> it's in the front. It's right in front of the computer, unless you got another one over there in the box. I left it up. We have two studios that we paint in, and sometimes when John has to be on the phone or talking to people or doing stuff, or and I'll film the studio it. Or rebuilding the studio like he was today. I was in the other studio, in the other room in the house, which is, uh, you know, shooting Four videos. Quarter miles away, yeah. It was, you know, and um, most of the paint's over here than this studio closet. All right, so you see, we're doing this. I'm going to put some paint out while we're yakking. Um, here's the thing: it's come up to me uh, several times because you know I, but by doing for personal art coaching, what we call art packs. You know, we get one of the things that happens, particularly most, a lot of people pick up painting really late in life, okay? I mean, they just do. They, um, I'm, uh, I'm going to put out a little burnt umber, a real raw umber in this corner. Um, then we're going to have some burnt umber also, but um, and some phthalo blue. But anyway, so what happens is when you take up a new hobby, and arts, you know, painting is a very great hobby. It's great for the brain. And a lot of times you get, there's so much new information, you know, maybe it was since high school since you painted, and, it, you know, you had a crummy art teacher, and she said mean things. And then basically, you're thinking, you know, I'm really good at a lot of stuff, but I suck at this. You know, I mean, I, and I, what? And um, did you find something? I did. I'm going to show something. Yeah? What? This is how we use our titanium one. Notice how we squeeze from the middle because it's so much sweeter in the middle <laughs> like than from the tube. end. Just like a toothpaste tube. Do you know how to use a tube, Frank? <laughs> Go home. Just go sit in the corner. Drive me nuts. I know it's a sock holder, can't stand it. But it all comes out, you know, it just ought to be okay, right? So, um, anyway, I've got this great story. I'm on a roll. You just be quiet over there for a minute. I'm on a roll, man. Um, so, I, I, I have some great stuff to explain to you why I'm putting out the paint, right? The, I'm explaining stuff. So, um, anyway, so there's this feeling of, you know, I don't know if I'll ever learn it. This seems too hard. Um, and I have to say, that one of the, the best things to take up to learn is painting because you'll see your progress, you get better. The more you do it, the better you get. If you never had an art lesson, if you kept doing it, you start getting better, you know, just by default.
but when you have art lessons and when you watch your videos, static, you know. who's static? Oh man, big time. Okay, we're just turning that. Okay, talk to me. All right, we good? Still, still static. So it's a it's a wireless mic. Maybe it doesn't like to be over here with all this. Let me just try this. Okay, I no. put out Cad Jello Media. So anyway, here's this right. idea that you you know you may feel, and it I'm right that it's just it gets a little overwhelming, particularly when you see some paintings. And I have to tell you that there's some scientific evidence that disproves all those feelings about that. And I'm just going to read you something from a book I bought some years ago. And um, I'm going to put out a little magenta, too. I don't know if we'll use it, but I'm going to just put a little. That's the design. I just want regular yeah, design. design that's now. a thinner one. I want the quadrochrome in a magenta. I'll just put out a little magenta here. All right, you guys good with that? So here's, here's oh, the I thing. Oh, i got to turn the palette. Wait a second. What? I just don't want to say this. This is like the pearls of wisdom guy. This is was worth the whole thing waiting for. As soon as he tells me that you, there's not so much static, you can hear it, right? Well, I've got to see where you put the palette. Oh, you're kind of close. All Are right. we all right? Yeah, I've got to work on that palette screen a little bit, but it's good. Okay. Um, before, How's the sound? Because before I tell well, you the, the, the secret, static, yeah, the static, we got rid of the static. The, the wireless mic is having a problem with our new setup, so I have to work on that. Okay, well, that's fine. Now we know, right? Yep. We know these things. All and right, I just put in, like, you, you guys know I'm coming in as Ginger Cook tonight because I don't have another computer handy to run off of, and so just. That's not me, that's John, okay? I'm not. She's I, not that I cannot good. see any computer. I, I, if he doesn't read me the comments, I have no idea what you said. All right, so all things considered, and I hope we don't get too many thumbs down on this, right? Um, so we're back to, you see where we draw this out? We've put our paper out, our, our uh, paint out. We've got, we're on our palette paper, and um, we're using heavy body paint. Stop, quit moving. All right, so now. Uh, you don't do that. You're moving the palette camera when you do that. Um, what? Oh, good. I love this brush. It's hard as a rock. I think that one's perfect. <laughs> Next, um, next, oh. okay, uh, gosh, who washed the brushes last? I'm I even not, have a video on how to do it. <laughs> yeah, and the person that did it. Oh, uh, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. All right, here's a brush. I like that one. This is a number eight Bristol on. I just need a brush for the sky, you guys. The reason we're doing raw umber, we're going to use raw umber as our, um, country color. Are we really going to take this down after we're done? Is that off no, I think people are enjoying enough of all it. All right, so all right, here's a little bit of white and raw umber. Are you with me? Yeah. And then we're going to take a little ultramarine blue and mix in that. We've got a little bit more white, a little tiny, a tiny bit of phthalo, kind of a combination of these two colors. Oh, wait a minute. They're reminding you you were going to say something profound now that we got rid of the static. Oh, yeah, profound <laughs> stuff. Yeah, see? <laughs> As, and we are so glad you're there to keep us on task. All right, all right, so here's the deal. I think, you know, and I think everybody, if it isn't painting, everybody's got a subject they think they're not good at. You know what I mean? I would learn that, but, you know, particularly when you were in school, you saw some kids and they went to science class and they started talking about atoms and protein and all this weird stuff and they just got it and you're going, oh, gosh, when's this going to be over and PE start something, you know? And, or maybe it's a subject you were good at and you tried to explain it to someone else and they didn't get it. Um, so here's how you get anything. And I wish somebody told me this when I was a kid. This is from a book I bought some years ago called The Quantum Brain, all right? And they're talking about how you can learn anything, particularly, particularly when you're trying to study something, right? So, um, and this was and basically how you make a quantum leap in understanding, all right? So, um, in, in my case, and I'll explain how this translates. And so in this chapter four, uh, about the second paragraph, he goes, the, the author goes on to say, as a child, Freeman's younger sister, Joan, was, wanted to pursue science, but their mother believed girls were psychologically incapable of learning science and strongly discouraged her. So she avoided it. But when Joan turned 13, Freeman gave her a college astronomy textbook. When she opened it, she saw that inside the cover he had written her name, which she was deeply moved but concerned as she turned the page. How can I read it? It's so hard. Okay, and it's, don't you think of those, think of the words, how can I do this? It's so hard, right? Okay. And then he said his answer was the perfect description of how the fourth brain, the enormously powerful neural, neural network, 
best learns, fearless of failure, undaunted in repetition, now seducible by educational fads and shortcuts. That you start at the beginning and you read as far as you can get until you're lost. Okay? Then you start at the beginning again and you keep working through it until you can understand the whole book. And you read it, basically what he said was you read it paragraph by paragraph. If you have to read a paragraph 50 times to understand it, your brain will suddenly make a quantum leap. And this is what he talks about. He says, um, then you start at the beginning again. You keep working through until you can understand the whole book. Try it for yourself, his, he says, but keep a dispassionate tab on your own mental process. As you repeatedly butt your head up against the same wall, you start to say, what am I missing? Mentally or perhaps on paper. You, only, you toy around with the various alternative interpretations of the a sticking point. When you stumble upon the correct when you stumble upon the correct one, the roadblock vanishes and you proceed forward until you reach the next roadblock. And you track your progress and you'll see that you go forward in fits and starts. And this sometimes happens with painting too. You get a little you got to understand how to do a tree, but then someone starts talking about snow and you're going, Oh God, I can't do snow, right? But you can okay. So here we go. Significant forward motion follows a round of errors during which round blame for the error is properly assigned. And uh, basically went on to go, goes on to say how she became a physicist, a big scientist. Uh, she, you know, maybe she wasn't as gifted as that, maybe she was uh, basically programmed to think she couldn't do it. But what basically said you can learn any subject, I don't care if you're talking about some computer program or you're talking about painting or whatever it is, you do it until you don't understand it and then do it again. And if it's um, it's learnable. Just about anything is learnable. I, I think this. I think the idea that, that some gift is involved is what people throw up their hands. Well, if I don't, didn't have the gift by 60, I certainly don't have it. And that's just not true. You sure do. Is that, is that good? That's good. great. Is that, I, I, all right. So we're going to come down here like this. Oh, we are going to actually paint tonight. I'm sorry. We're <laughs> painting. Well, they wanted me to read. I wanted to read that. I want to put a little more no, it was good. blue in that. It was definitely good. I want to put a little more thing blue because this is the kind of thing where people think they can't get it. Now, one of the things that does help is if you have the proper materials. If you're painting on paper, for instance, and I'm painting on canvas, and you're getting a different result, and you're saying, well, why doesn't this work, right? Well, it could be the material you're painting on, okay? If you're um, using student-grade paints, and you see it here, I got a little white on my brush, and I'm using um, professional acrylics, um, your colors may differ slightly, but I want to point out our friend Alicia Hugh in China, who's doing museum quality artwork on the worst materials out there. So it's not, you can't even blame it on your acrylics. You just to work harder, maybe, if you don't have the, the best acrylics, but it's all doable. I'd say Lisa's, Alicia's our poster child for, 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 the, for being able to, um, uh, to work with very, very uh, inexpensive student grade material. She's over there in Macau, doesn't have access to this, uh, probably even a budget to, to get the very best materials. And yet she's putting out some of the best artwork I've seen in years. And she started not painting over a year ago. She started with my daughter uh, about a year ago, the, um, you know, doing some, you know, very basic paintings. She joined our academy <laughs> in December. And now I think she could go to any museum and knock off whatever's in there. I'm not kidding. It's a, it's a meteoric rise, but it wasn't because of the materials, but it's a matter of focus. And I tell you what, um, I'm not saying that, but you can't judge your speed against someone else's speed. It's just your mind will, you, you just have to understand your mind will get it, but you have to give it a chance. How's that? Is that good? That is good. Is that, that profound? I, I thought that was, I, yeah, the, whole, the rest of that book was very, very about math and all the rest of the stuff. And I, I would have needed 16,000 hours to finish it. But I love the part about you can learn anything, and they scientifically proved it. All right, so now we got a path in here too. So well, as long as we're doing that, let's take some more white in this area and a tiny bit of cad red medium. Now, this is interesting because we're going to take more white, cad red medium, like that, a little bit of that in there and that blue stuff, okay? And uh, now I've got this sort of interesting sort of um, uh, kind of mauve colored peach road. And I'm just going to put, we have to have a coat in there like this. So, and the brush strokes are going back and forth like this, and I just need something down here, all right? doesn't really matter what it is. 
Once again, blocking in the colors. Yeah, blocking it in. Basically, I might take a little more cad red medium, a little bit of raw umber, a little bit of white. Now, a little bit of uh, yellow, maybe a tiny bit of raw umber again. Um, a little more white. All right, now this is a little deeper color, but it's basically it's sort of a adobe brick color, really. If you ever, you know, California, back and forth like this. I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that my canvas is covered, all right? So it didn't really matter what color I started off with. I'm just trying to do this, and we'll do this fairly quickly. And I apologize. I thank you guys so much for you hanging in there with us and, um, and, and checking this out. I think this style of painting, this sort of country style of painting, um, it could be rural anywhere in the world, I think, really. But you see a lot of this in um, in the Michigan. south with the flowers in the spring with the yellow flowers. You see it in Michigan too. Michigan, this is yeah. a you know. It's kind, a Midwest scene. It's kind of a Midwest scene, and I kind, and I think it's it's charming, and it would be very pretty larger. It's just it's a peaceful scene, um, and I think it's kind of cool. So, um, well, obviously, if I didn't think it was great, we wouldn't have done that. Now I'm going to take a minute and rinse my brush. Seems and, we're having no buffering except for Judy, who has a buffered aspirin. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right, good job, Judy. Um, all right, so now we're going to just um, not talk about this color anymore, right? So I'm going to just take this, uh, just scrape it off here, like just move it over here. Scrape all that off because I, I want a dark color, and I don't want that in this in my way. All right, so now I want a dark green. So I'm going to start with ultramarine blue, raw umber, and some yellow. And I want a dark, dark green. you see how dark that green is? Nice dark green. And That's I'm just, a good green. I'm going to just come up here like this on the side and notice the angle of the brush strokes. Are, it's not up and down. It's not sideways. It's just sort of at an angle here. So we're going to say that's this little bank of, of green. And then I want to come over here. I'm going to put a little bit more blue in it, make it even darker. Now, this is still a little wet, but I think it's going to work. So I'm going to say that I've got up in here like this, just using the flat of this brush, like this. Okay, just coming across here like this. Just no more than about a half an inch here. Whatever that is. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now, I don't want to, um, I just lost my TV. Why do I have no TV and no signal? What happened to that? Oh, you probably ran out of battery juice because it only lasts so long. Okay, so then I want to come up here like this and I'm going to just, uh, this is, this is, boy, we're, we're falling apart tonight like cheap suits. I'll tell you what. All right, there's tree one, right? Now, the next tree doesn't want to look like that. It's going to be a little shorter, so I'll just tap up something like that. It's a different tree, right? Then maybe I'll say there's a little tiny, little tall tree right there like that that's sticking through there. Maybe there's one of those. Now let's put this bush in up here. It's got to be different than the others. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. All right, so uh, that's gone forever? No. Okay. All right, so you see what we got here now? Everybody's with me? Now, we also, that's, uh, the rest of this is going to be that tree over here. Now, as long as I'm in the dark green, I want to come along the side of my road like this and um, just say I've got a little bank of flowers, the, the dark green. And in acrylics, this is different. In acrylics, um, you start with your darkest colors first. So we're just going right over this dark blue, and that will make a very nice dark, you know, kind of a dark green color. And we're kind of lining our road here, maybe making it a little thinner, kind of like that. Just there we go. There's lining our road with this dark green. And you'll notice that we, um, our bushes have got, um, you know, they're varying the height and the pattern. I mean, that's really important. So we're varying the height and the pattern. John is so nice. He's fixing me my camera. I have, in case you're wondering what he's doing, I have a... Um, a television screen right in front of me. That, oh gosh, that's um, <laughs> just uh, all, the are, all the batteries are dead, so we can't see it. So that I can see what I'm painting, okay? So I can see what I'm painting. So that's what he's doing right there. And you'll notice we have some of these light clouds here. All right. So then what? Okay. So we've got that, and we've got this, and we've got that. Now what? Well, I'm going to rinse the brush and um, kind of wipe it off on a rag like this. And now I'm going to come in with some yellow oxide just on the tip of my brush and just this is a bright brush here like that and I'm going to use just the corner of it okay just the corner of the squared off brush and I'm going to say the lights kind of come in from this angle so while this is still wet I'm going to tap in a highlight on this bush like that type 
like that. Two, 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 two. Okay, and then maybe there's another little one growing here, tapping in some sort of highlight here on these. Come, thank you very much. I'm gonna right in this one too. I'm gonna tap in. I'm gonna say here's some some varying bushes, height, a little tiny bit of of this light lighter color and suggest, and if you get too much, then go back with some dark green and erase some. But basically, you're saying that is your background colors. And um, maybe I'll say that, well, oh, it looks like water there. I don't know why that would be. I'm gonna say that there's some taller trees right in here like that. Okay, so that's, that's my background right in there, okay? Now, the rest of this is, it almost looks like a lake now, isn't that pretty? Look at that. We could have a lake. Yeah, I know. Can... That's what people are saying. It looks the way it comes in. Yeah, isn't that you... funny? That, yeah, and, and you were painting along with one of these backgrounds. You could change your mind completely and say, you know what? I like what Ginger's doing, but I've got a lake. I'm going with the lake. And that's the fun thing of being an artist, isn't it? That you could just change your mind. Because that's pretty. Isn't it? We could have done that, but, you know, that's not what we said. We were painting. But you could see how easy that would be. Now, I'm going to take some white paint, a little uh, cad red medium and white and a little raw umber, okay, and a tiny bit of yellow, a little bit of cad red medium. Now I want this sort of a uh, little bit more white with that. Now I've got this sort of, it's almost a flesh tone color, see that? Paint my hand, right? Now I'm going to come under here like this and I'm going to tap this color uh, under this um, area, right, like this, tap this in. I'm going to wipe all the paint off now, see that? And I'm going to do it again, I'm going to tap this color in here, like that, and pull it down, just tap it in, like this, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow oxide to that now, and come underneath it, like that, tap that under here, like this, kind of across, like that, there we go, okay? Now, this is the thing, grass is always painted up and, up and, up and down. This is your, people want to go across, and you want to paint it in layers. So now I've got some of this green color, and I'm going to come up here like this, and I'm going to start tapping in this, just kind of pulling it down like that, coming across here. And you don't, you want to vary it. So here's a little yellow oxide. I'll start with that, maybe with a tiny bit of cad red medium with it. And I'm going to just say, here's this kind of reddish uh, color, like here, and I'll put it right there, like that. All right, and then I want a real dark green. So... Um, maybe I'll put a little burnt umber with that. I want some really nice dark green color. And let's see, do I want some of that up in here? Yeah, I think I need it a little bit darker. I might tap a little dark green in here like this. Maybe a little little bit longer like that because we're going to play with that a minute. And then I'm going to wipe the brush off and get a little yellow oxide. Wipe that off the brush, okay? And barely touch it. Leave something. Here we go. Barely touch it because this is still wet, and leave some of that dark showing, and just tap on, pull some grass down, and little islands of weeds. How's that? Little islands of weeds. That's what you're painting. Little islands of weeds with little dark showing in between, like so. And as you get over to the right, I'm going to take a little bit of yellow and, um, and white, and a little yellow oxide, wipe this off. See, I'll put the paint on the brush because I'm mixing it. And I'm going to come this way, a little bit more yellow ox oxide. I want a little bit golder here, a little bit more of that, tapping in some of this gold color. And I want to come over in this area here and say that this whole area here is a little bit lighter. Um, maybe it will take a little bit of a, a rust color now. That's just you know, adding some cad red medium to this mixture, um, just a little bit. Then wipe off your brush. Keep tapping this in here. Just tap it in or pull it down. Tap or pull it down, okay? Um, now, let's see. Let's find something a little brighter. Because this is the fun part. When you're, you know, here's a little bit of a, a brighter orange color. Well, maybe we'll layer in a bit of that, like that, okay? And as you do the grass, okay, and here's some, some lighter grass, maybe a little bit more yellow with it. As you do the grass, as you come forward, we're going to brighten up some of the colors. I might take a little phthalo blue now in yellow and white and kind of change it more to a, a blue-green because I'm coming forward, so I'm going to change the color of the grass from a, um, 
uh, a dark ultramarine kind of blue and yellow to more of a, a blue green color okay and then I'm going to wipe the brush and maybe come back here with some yellow oxide and yellow now I'm going to tap right on this top of this because we're what we're doing you guys is we're mixing colors on the canvas what well, there's a little bit of red right there because it's all still wet so you got to move fairly quickly right yeah moving fairly quickly because I'm saying here's a little bit of red I think here's a little bit of this yellow in here that might be too bright so then I'll come back and, and erase some of it with some darker green see might have just some of that showing see how you do that just some of that showing this feels a little dark to me um, might put a little more yellow with that there we go just now I just keep coming forward and as I go forward I want a little bit more um, I want more yellow color so I think I have to rinse the green off my brush now because my brush I want to go into the yellow and golds so um, kind of more in the gold colors because I want to say up here in the front hey Valerie has driving. a question for you yeah yeah well, scroll by one a second. And yeah, scroll listen, back happy up. to answer questions. I'm going to come over here as we get toward the where our. I don't have enough fingers. Be. What don't you have enough of? Fingers. I need another hand. Uh huh. And the bear is all paws. Oh, no. And he's not much help, is he? All right, so here's a little bit of the orange color in here. How would Ginger say her painting has changed over the time? Has your style changed? Not really. I mean, I, I maybe refined, but not much. I think I got a... Um, Who are we calling? I think I got... Um, um, oh here we go. My. See how we're brightening it up as we get closer in here like this and keep pulling it down? All right, and the same thing over here. I might turn the brush over and just tap in. Just You don't want the real color, bright colors back there, but you want them kind of... So you've always been a romantic, impressionistic style? I think I always have. It's always been me. I think I always wanted to paint. I think I paint heaven without the people. Okay. That's a good way I to put it. I haven't decided who's going, so. <laughs> <laughs> the list keeps changing. <laughs> you were on my heavens list, and now you're not. I'm so sorry. It's a good thing I'm not in charge of that, isn't it? Because uh, people come in and out of my list all the time, right? Uh, <laughs> Don't be messing with her. I'm telling you. All right, so I'm kind of liking that color, a little bit of that color. So as I'm doing that to sort of this green, I'm going to tap in some um, lighter green here just at an angle, and that's going to suggest something else happening on this bank. Okay? Now, I mean, I think that's kind of interesting how this works. Don't you think so? Now, as we come back into this way, into this part of our field, right, um, uh, right where our fence is going to be, then we're going to do a little more detail up here in the front. But we, what we, what, what our goal has uh, has been continuously on this, is to brighten up our colors so that our brightest colors are in the front. And we're just sort of tapping that in. You see how we're just showing layers of that stuff? Is that interesting? And maybe a little bit of, maybe we've got a little bit of, um, may have to dry some of this to get this orange going because um, you can get mud pretty quick, but here you go. Just Here, you here's another it, question okay. for you. Yeah, if you tap it, you get it pretty much, pretty much okay. Does Ginger ever watch any other YouTube artists, and if so, who? Well, of course, I watch my daughter occasionally, because I said, did you see, you know, because we always say, did you see my show or whatever. So I like to watch Cinnamon sometimes, because, um, you know, I like to see what the kid's saying, right? And uh, she watches me, I think, occasionally. We all always get pretty busy. I tell you, I'm more likely to watch on YouTube some of those artists that tell you how to make up your, you know, how to, you know, make up for people over 50, those people. I'm watching them people all the time, and I've gotten some really good tips from them, too, I have to say. Um, uh, I really quite enjoy it. Now, a little bit more of this white on my road. See what I'm doing here? Just lightening up the road a bit. See? A little bit of dark, a little bit of light as I'm painting here. Teresa. Now, a lot of this has hap happened, and we haven't put this tree in. Well, I'd like to thank it? Eric for the donation. Oh, Eric, that's so sweet. And listen, we really appreciate it. Eric is uh, 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 living in Las, uh, Las Vegas, Eric, right? Yes. And he's now an Uber, he, you know, he's been driving some Uber stuff. And, and we, it's so funny because one of my friends was, uh, one of Eric's friends and my friends were just in Las Vegas. And she said, I was so mad. She, says we, she said we rented a car and then discovered we couldn't park at, they wanted $20 every time he went to a different casino, they said. That's the kind of a, 
and she said, I wish we'd just called Eric, you know? And had him Uber <laughs> us. And had him Uber us. Because, and that's, um, that's, you know, sometimes, well, one thing I did learn, uh, when I went to Philadelphia years ago, Cinnamon and I went to Philadelphia, and um, one, of, one of my students was going to a school there, and we went to see her and some art galleries and some different stuff in Philadelphia on our way to Atlanta. So I had this bright idea to rent a car, okay? And what? And I learned the hard way, and I'm going to lighten this up back here a little bit too. What I learned the hard way is, is that you don't want to rent a car in a big city because you can't park it. You know? That's and if true. you're not good at parallel parking, just kiss, kiss it off completely, right? Because you're not parking anywhere. And then even then, it's, uh, you know, they want a lot of money for you know private parking, and I would have been so much better. This was before Ubers, but I would have been so much better even then to have taken a cab than try to make all this work. All right, so you can see how we've got our meadow in, and I want to take a little bit of phthalo blue and white now, and a little tiny bit of ultramarine blue, blue with it, tiny bit of raw umber, just a tiny bit, most of it gone here. Just tone that down just a hair, okay? A little bit more of the blue here, and I want to tap in. Now, some, some people might think, let's put a little more ultramarine with that, a little bit more white. There we go. Okay. Um, this got to keep our color mixture going here. Um, some people thought maybe this was puddles, but I, I wanted to think this was more like um, um, maybe some blue flowers that were growing in here, too. Julian would like to know, what is your biggest art tip? Um, that art's a language and it's learnable. There you go. Art's a language and it's learnable. And it's not about talent. Um, it's about imagination. Um, some of the, you know, some of the paintings that you want to own that just resonate with you may not even be painted that well, but they, there's a subject in the way the person told you the story. That uh, artists are good storytellers, but they tell the what story with paint. Down? You know, and so you're, you know, so uh, have you ever watched a, um, one of those reality TV shows where there's si singers? <coughs> And these people often sing fine, and they don't want to. And they're just, they're stunned. They took voice lessons for years, and they're stunned. Oh, and apparently, in order to be a good singer, they want you to have some sort of tragic life. If you, you know, something that you can, something horrible has to have happened to you so that you can sing about it. Well, I don't think anything horrible has to happen to you to paint. I think you can just be, you know, just have joy. But you do have to have some emotion in your piece. And that's important, you know? Don't think. See, do you see the V I just made here, right there? Nice V. Now, what I want to do here while we're chatting is, um, so I'm sorry we got such a late start. I really apologize. Look how cool this was. All the brush strokes up and down. I think that's pretty nice. Don't like that right there. I'm going to take that out. Here, what do we got here? A little raw umber. Francis yeah. would like to know, how does Ginger know which glue to use when, and does she use them both all the time, or... You always have ultramarine and phthalo, and I don't know when to use one over the other. Well, uh, generally speaking, um, you got to think of phthalo blue and white is more tropical, ultramarine blue and white. Usually ultramarine blue. All right, if you go back, um, cerulean blue is what most artists use for a sky. If you mix the two together and white and a little brown, umber, you almost get a cerulean blue. And your sky is generally always darker at the top and lighter at the bottom. And so you could just decide. Some people prefer a phthalo blue sky, others ultramarine. Uh, phthalo blue and ultramarine are, you know, mixed differently with greens. Um, you know, that kind of thing. All right, so I'm going to take some burnt umber now, and I'm going to go sideways over this chalk. I'm going to put it on both sides of the brush. This is a little bright brush like this. And um, just doing this, and I want a little trunk. You know, here's our tree rules, you guys. Trees are what? They're... Um, wider at the bottom and t skinnier at the top and chalk is one of the worst things to have to paint over because it's like trying to paint on sand so I'm almost tapping the paint on there and what I will do when I get a little bit further with this I will um, uh, rinse the, my brush off and try to get that chalk out of the brush right but here, here's my first here's my first uh, in inroads into this tree which I'm saying is growing here on the side of the road, like this, as some sort of little tree. Now, I'm not going to go any further with the um, uh, with the um, branches. I don't need to do that because we're going to cover them up. But let's see, where's my chalkboard? I was doing something clever with it earlier. What did I do with that? 
chalkboard. You had it right there? I know I did. I had it. Because you even cleaned it. I cleaned it. I cleaned it. You saw me. It's there by, on the outside. Is outside it? edge. Outside. Over here. Outside edge. Ah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. All right. So here's the deal. You've got this tree that's coming up here like this, you know, and this, this thing is doing this, and it's forking here, it's doing that, and here's your tree, okay, here it is, right? Now, what I want you to think about is leaves that are kind of doing this, kind of like doing this, something's kind of doing this. Think of, this is where your puppy clouds could be, you know what I mean, it's your trees, right? Here's your just, don't make, just don't clone them. Just don't clone them, make some different shapes, right? Have, if a bird should be able to fly through your tree, okay? So there's basically the shape of your tree. Now, the secret is the darker colors are on the bottom and the lighter colors are on the top, okay? So if this was my darkest color here, like that, okay? I'm just going to show you these the size of the chalk here, like this. If the, just imagine this was dark green, right? Okay? You with me? And you want it a little bit more uneven than I made it, okay? You don't want just round globs like that, right? So here's my lighter colors. So you might have three colors. Light's coming this way. So your lighter color is going to be on top of the tree where the light hits, right? Like that, like the egg, right? And the darker colors are going to be underneath. So you start with the darker colors, okay? And this is how your tree gets some dimension. And you might have, um, you know, it might come up here like this in some places, but you're still starting with your lighter colors first, okay? And your darker colors underneath. That's what you're, and you want to cross in front of your tree, all right? And then maybe the rest of the tree is coming up. You know, here's your tree coming up, and then it's going to connect in a few places. You may see some branches. But you you and you may have come you know may see some branches at some point you won't see all of them okay so that's what you're painting does that make sense yeah makes sense to me okay so that being said so now that I know that let's see where's my angle brush I think I'll just you go in water you're done here's a little angle brush here what is this a number something what's it about three quarters three eighths half inch right that three looks quarters like, inch three looks eighths. like three eighths. Oh, I have glasses. What is this? Three-eighths. Three-eighths. All right. So now what I need to do is to take some ultramarine blue and a little phthalo. I want a really dark green, a little purple, and a little yellow. And I want the darkest green, maybe a tiny bit of burnt umber in it. I want the darkest green I've got. Okay, a little bit more burnt umber, not raw umber, burnt umber. Now that is almost black. It's, it's a dark green. And I'm going to come up here, just like I told you, using side sideward brush strokes like this. And I'm going to just say this part of my tree, clear down on this side, and over here is going to be dark. Because I'm going to start with the dark first, all right? And I know I've got, and it, all the brush strokes are going sideways, all right? And they're raggedy. They're just, they're not even. They're, they're, not, they're not even at all. And coming up here, you want some spaces where birds could fly through your tree, like that. If you have to, you have to come back with the blue and put some back, you can Let's get this even darker than I have, a little bit of purple. Okay, I want this really dark. This is my front tree, like that. I'll bring it down into my meadow, like that. All right, we're going to come across here like this and say, this is our dark, nice, dark tree. And it's actually growing on top of here like that, okay? So, so far so good, yeah? Now, what happens? Well, then you take some white and yellow and you make a lighter color. Same color. Now, come on top of this and just you can start a new layer here, but leave some of that dark underneath, okay? And I think I'm out of white paint, so I'll just get a little more. Speaking because of white paint, what is Ginger's favorite color to paint with and why? Well, I use a lot of cad red medium. And Dosmine purple. Those are probably the colors that most are very unusual. See, they come up a little lighter here, on top of here like this. Um, and and because you, they're very versatile, I can do so much. I can change an awful lot with those two colors. And cad red medium, for instance, and ultramarine blue, 
will make a really good, see them coming across here in front of the tree here with the, put a little yellow with that, with this lighter green here where the sun is touching, see, on the top. Okay, didn't get a, let's get a little bit more yellow in here. It's a little bright. Okay, and then as I get over toward the right, they're going to be, it's going to be less bright. More um, yellow oxide over here and uh, mix that in there. And just come across here is another little lower branch like that. So the trick is you've got to have some light green as on top of the dark. And if your dark isn't showing, it's, you know, if you're having trouble with that, make sure your dark, um, your, um, you've got your dark underneath. That's really important. Now I would like, I'm going to come back and change something. This is why you should always write down how you did your sky. How you write, just write down, you should make a little journal how you make, mix your colors. If you have to come back in three days and change something, you're not going to be very happy. I want some more, I'm going to take the sky down here and um, just like that, see? I want that tree to show so I can, I might poke a few little holes in it just with my sky color, right? Just maybe. Trisha would like to know, why are you using white instead of yellow for highlights? Well, because it's, I'm, I'm mixing the green in the, in the it's not white anymore. It's it mixed into the wet paint, and it's going green. Okay? And I'm also using white and light, light yellow. But it's just, if it's still white, then I would tone it back, because it wouldn't really stay white. Does that make sense? So um, I'm trying to, because this is still wet. Okay? So, all right, so we're saying there's our... That's our lightest color at this point. Now acrylics dry darker, but well, we have to come up and lighten up another one of these bits someplace. Did we lose all our dark? Do you have to come back and put a bit dark back? You can. Okay. All right. So we're saying there's our there's our tree, and I want to. If that's my tree, which I just said it was, right? Then maybe I'll do, I'll do, and I've got a branch like that. Maybe I'll make this a little lighter here like that. Okay. So there we go, tree. And this tree right here needs to connect somehow here, right like that. We need to connect it somehow here before we start putting in branches. Okay, so I'm just connecting it. There's our nice tree, and we may do more with that, okay? So now I've got that. Now we're going back for contrast. So this has had a chance to dry, and we're out of yellow. So How's now we need possible? to put the light flowers in our meadow, because you see this dried darker, back here than I want it to. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark, so a little bit of white and yellow, tiny bit of yellow oxide with that. All right, now I'm going to wipe the brush off. I'm going to tap in under here um, some lighter flowers back here. I want them a little yellower. Maybe yellow oxide would be good, too. I want them a little bit brighter. Back in here, this is my next layer of color. And as, as I'm painting, um, I'm going to lighten up the, um, the picture. Let's see, let's try a little bit of cad red medium with that. That's, I always use a little bit of cad red. I like it a lot. I'm going to lighten up some of this in here because your brighter colors in front. You see how I just keep pulling the paint down. So it's kind of a nice, I think this is an interesting way of you know, explaining to do grass because most people just think you go back and forth and do that. And all the brush strokes are sort of up and down, particularly wild grass like this, because it's all different heights, okay? So, um, uh, let's see, here's a little bit of yellow, a little bit of brighter yellow. I feel like there's a water drop there. I don't think I had my brush in water. Okay, so I want to come behind this tree like that. I want some of that blue color back there, too. I like that blue. So another question, John, when I'm busily painting. I feel like I need to paint fast, you guys, because we lost so much time trying to get Faster started. Faster than you normally do? No, please don't do that. It'd be hyperspace. We, we had a question, um, kind of you know, kind of self-answering. Do you ever buy like the 16 by 20 canvas pads and then cut them down? I did that once because I got some really good 8 by 10s with the 16 by 20. I did that, but I didn't cut very well, and some of them were a little crooked, it was a little sad. John says, what is this? What do you mean, what is this? He says, what is this? 
Because I would have laid it out, T squared it. And well, I kind of did. I thought I did. And then the scissors didn't go quite where I wanted them to. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. For the cost savings, if there is one, I know one time we did the math on one of them, and it was not a cost savings to buy the little guys. I haven't thought, you know, you can, you know, you can, some art stores, they sell canvas by the roll. The, yeah, that's the what essence. Wendy does. She gets it by the roll sometimes. And, and you just can use do it that, that and then stretch it. You want to allow yourself three inches around to stretch it. All right, let's put a little dark back here on the corner here. Let's get some dark um, something back here. All right, so you see a little bit of our road going back. Now, I mean, this is sort of a, now this is kind of, I think this is a nice picture before we did anything else. I want to put a little blue purple shadow. Let's take a little magenta with that. I really like the blue. lake you had in there to begin with. Yeah, a little bit of blue magenta. T and I want to say, I want to come across the road like this and say this is the shadow from our tree coming across. Except in this case, well, that would make the light going from this way, though. Well, anyway, that's where it is. We want to change that because if you have a sh the sh tree's having a shadow, the light's coming from that way. Guess what? But it's all right. If you were going to paint this larger, how large could you go with this current design? Oh, I could go really big with this. 30 by 40? Yeah, easy. I could go easy by just, I mean, absolutely. 40 by 60? To, when you came up to these front grasses, you'd have to give them a little more thought than I did, right? You have to put in a little bit more detail. A little bit, yeah, a little bit more detail. When you're doing something small like this, you can get away with a less. And I say, I want this a little bit Trish, darker here on the grass where the shadow is. Trish and, would like to know how come Ginger doesn't paint on a bigger canvas? Um, you know, Chris, for one thing, um, look how long it takes to do this. I paint on bigger canvases for our Academy members, but yeah. a lot of times it takes, if, if it takes me three hours, it takes everybody else ten. Um, and it, the thing of it is, is that people have so much time during a week, we get through for our Academy members a new painting every week for our members of our Academy. And we don't do that because people should do one every week, and everybody wants to paint um, a landscape. Not everyone wants to paint an old dead artist, right? So what we try to do is give you give you enough variety that you might want to paint something, right? That um, you're going to lighten up the grass here too. Let's bring some. We just finished our wave and water, and that was about five hours of filming. For a 16 by 20, and we do we do large wave and waters, you know, and um, but we do really detailed campuses. Okay, I think I've got to fix the light source on my plants now because I said it was coming from this way. It's, it's coming from the right. To do. I mean, I just, that's so easy. We just, we just change where it's coming from. <laughs> no just, big deal. No, it's just, I, I lied about it. It's coming from this direction. <laughs> well, I, the sun moved as we were painting it. It did. It was just, it, it's so long. We had a, well, they say that happens when you go to paint outside. You've got your shadows and you turn around and they move. This is why artists really are not big fans of um Whitney thinks she had close to 60 hours on the Magnolia painting. Yeah. That was a long one for you to do. That was that four was, or yeah. five hours. Yeah, too. that was four or five hours of Wendy did sixty, and I had I did a, a, a just a nine by twelve, and one artist wrote me and said they would spent ten hours on it. So you know you got it. It was uh, a beautiful job. You did a good, great beautiful job. Beautiful job, and, and, and yeah, and it's okay, right? So we're gonna come across, and now let's get this road lighter. Eric says he'd personally do this as a thirty by forty. It would be very pretty, and then I I think it could could be really nice, right? And, uh, you know, how would you personalize it? Well, you don't start putting bunnies and stuff in it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no bunnies? I'll forget the whole thing then. All right, I'm going to lighten this tree bit back here like this, between us like this. See that there? And I'm going to lighten the road right here like that, a little bit more white. Lighten this road up like this. There we go. A little bit lighter here. Okay, so lighten the road. Now what I want to do is put the fence posts in. I kind of like all this, though, don't you? It's looking great. I mean, I like all that, and I I'm, I don't know what that is. I, I, I did that with a big brush. I should have done that background with a little brush, but it's dry. So I can still take, because I remember how we did our background. You know, I remember how we made that sky color. Okay? So I might just take this and just, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, give it a haircut. Ginger? Right? What? Does John have time for a hobby? If so, what? Huh. Time is hobby. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Um, well, no, we travel. John and I travel. That's our, you know, that's why we do all this traveling. That's our hobby. That's our hobby. That's what we do. And then that's really what we do. That's our hobby. I'm going to do a few little light clouds back there. I didn't do it in the other one, but I think that could be cute. Here, like this, you know. 
Okay, let's just uh. Oh yeah, I'm no stinking like habit. That. There you go. So a little bit of light and um, oh, my white's all contaminated. I'm not loving that. Here, a new pile of white. Um, Goldie would put a bunny behind a tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think fine, it's cute. Fine, fine. All right, so we're going to lighten this up here, a little cloud, something in back here like that. I'm going to lighten that up right there and just give everybody a little more room to breathe. You like that? Just a little bit more room to breathe. All right, so uh, lines say, look, when in when in art, your eye goes in here, in here. And then this is, it hits that tree, goes, er, stops, right? So what we're going to do is then the road kind of does this, and then this line here brings us back. So... What we want to do is, we, if we have a fence post like this, then we're going to have one like that, and then maybe a curved one. Here's our gate, something like that. And then they get real small down there. You with me? So first thing we're going to do is take uh, burnt umber and paint in the fence posts. I thought John does photography. I do when we go on trips. When we go on trips, John takes all the photography for our trips, that is. And, and he's a marvelous photographer. And also, John loves programming the computer. And he loves... Uh, um, that's my hobby. That's his hobby, really. Is that he likes to stay up till 3 in the morning. There's no one to bug him. He's a, it's no phone calls. Um, and he'll sit there and he'll work on the computer and do all kinds of cool things. Now, the fence posts get skinnier <coughs> when they go back here, too. Oh, here's a great question. Does Ginger take breaks from painting to cook? Or do you do the seniors <laughs> eat out a lot? No, John cooks. John cooks. I get to cook. John cooks. I'm up here installing new software, getting it all ready, and getting to be close to dinner time. So I go running down. So I got, thought it was all ready. And Look, we, we had no way of knowing it wouldn't work. But, you know, you just... And now we got to remember, I, what do we end up doing to make it work? I don't know. What did you do, John? I'm not sure. We may have to have another impromptu live session sometime as we're going along here. All right, I want a, a highlight on my fence post, and I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to dry those real quick, okay? Let's dry those. Um, hold on a second. I've got to find your mic. Okay, I'm ready. All right, while well, she's muted for a second, um, thank you guys so much for hanging in there with us tonight. It's getting to be 9.30 here, and we appreciate that. We've been on a little over an hour. Uh, we're still going to do a giveaway, 6 by 8 at the end of this. Again, if you want more information on the birthday cruise for January 2019. 29th? 27th. Jan 27th. January 27th. Uh, use the gingercooklive.gallery. Contact us, and we'll send you the info with our gals. Info. And if you want more information on the Back to Basic Series 1 must-have set. Must-have set. Well, I bet that's still in my buffer. I can probably put that out there again for you guys. Can I? Uh, Ooh, is I is can. my mic on? Do what? Is my mic on? Uh, that's a good question. Talk again. My mic on? Yeah. <laughs> my mic on? Is that all you can say? My mic on? My mic on? Well, yeah. because you always tell me to, re to remind you to put it on here. All right, so we're going to put, the, see our little fence post, and we're going to put some, um, huh, well, I'm doing it like this. Anyway, all right. I had actually had a reference photo for this, by the way. I didn't make this up. I actually had a reference photo for, for this. Eric, PMT. your birthday's on the 27th. Oh, that would be Eric, so cool. you need to you join us, go. dude. Come John, on. Come on, Eric. You Billy, up to the bar. Get out of that Vegas. Come gotta join come. us in the Caribbean. Gotta come. All right. So we got a little fence there. Okay. Karen Scott suggests get Ginger to put a tractor in the painting. Thank you, Karen. It ain't okay. gonna happen, but thanks for thinking of me. Yeah. Thanks. thanks Someday Karen. I'll get my tractor. Okay. All right. So we got uh, my. I would really like that paint to not have dried out so fast. Where did that burn number go? You know, um, Judy just was it Judy? Judy West. No, Jane just made an observation on your highlights. I know, because they went this way and they should be going the other side. Right? Uh -huh. That was her thought, right? Yep. <laughs> Mine too. Because I did the whole painting. If you look at this one, I keep copying this one, right? 
And I had it kind of come in this direction. It's kind of more in the front. But, I mean, honestly, I was looking at... It was interesting how the photography was because I really copied the highlights. I didn't really think it out. I just copied the highlights. Whatever they were in the picture, that's what I did because it was sort of a no-brainer. I did it pretty quick, right? So that's why I did it. Gee, you didn't bump the camera, did you? But that's not a camera. That's a microphone. No, but it hit the camera because it moved. Did it? Yeah. Well, it's a tough. <laughs> All right, let's change it. Oh, we got to work on Do that. you want to change it? No, change not it. now. No, no, no. We're, we're going to go with what we got. It now no, 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 no. Made comments. No, no. Too late. No. <laughs> Stop it. Where'd that burn, burn umber go? What burn umber? Did you just put burn, burn umber back on the fence? Yeah, because I just changed the highlights. Yeah. Because we changed where the, you know, the. You were on the wrong side. On the wrong side. Okay. All right, change the highlights. But I actually liked it the other way better, but that's okay. Um, again, a lot of times, it, but you know, it's good that uh, what's good is the pur purpose of a lesson is to, you know, to see, to see that, right? Yes. Because you're. Um, we were just testing you, just seeing who's paying attention out there. Yeah. Okay. So, I want. Uh, I can't believe I'm out of yellow already. Here it is. I want a little brighter color here now. I want some brighter orange up here. Um, flowers are closer now, so I'm going to start adding a few little things and the brush strokes are up and down. Do you see that? Just up and down. Just sort of dragging it, either tapping or dragging this forward. And um, I want a little bit of lighter green here next to this um, next to this fence post. If you're saying that's the dark side, it's then I want some lighter now. green next to it, you know? Like yay. Okay. You can find a link information for the cruise, Eric, either by contact us or I think it's on the website. I have some information there too. No, that's back to basic. Oh, shoot me an email or I can, if I try to remember after the show, I'll send it to you. I think that it was. Um, it's also in the Facebook group. Just a, search for my name. Really, some good deals on it. And um, right now, we picked that because it was extremely inexpensive. Um, it was uh, normally was it? that 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 cruises a lot more money to go to those go to Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and uh, Cozumel. Um, a lot, lot more expensive, and it's, it turned out um, uh, we. Um, I'm going to just. Um, the port. It's leaving from Galveston. Galveston, Texas. Galveston, Texas. Oh, here's a question for you. Wait a minute. I got to get back to it. Okay. If you follow a tutorial online, can you sell the painting as your own? It's not your own painting, but you can sell it. I guess. And here's the here's the thing. That's an interesting question. It's still my original, and it's still, um, you know, I hold the copyright, but I've given you permission to sell it. And um, we'd like, a, you know, if you want to credit the you know, inspiration by Ginger Cook on the back, something like that, where you got the idea, we appreciate that. But a lot of, a lot of YouTube artists say you can't sell their designs. You can, you know, give them away or whatever. You can't sell them. Uh, but, uh, you know, I've said that, you know, you can. I'm going to just, if we're saying that there, I'm going to put a little highlight on those trees back. And that's a good point, Sabrina. You didn't say if that was ginger or who, but so check with each artist what everybody their rules has are. A different, everybody has a different deal, absolutely. They have, diff they have a different deal. So, yeah, that's very important, okay, to, to check with it. Now, what we're going to do is put a little detail in front here now, okay? And uh, before I do that, I'm just going to tone down some of these greens here. Um, on the tree? On the tree. Those are a little bright here, so I'm going to tone that one down a little bit. Remember, I told you I wanted about three colors of green on here. A darker color underneath. And then I'll put some lighter colors on top. So there you go. Just, I felt like we needed just another little color on that tree. Now, um, and again, one mm -hmm. of the things that happens to artists is you, you run out of paint and you get a little lazy and you don't put any more out. And then you're trying to mix the color and you don't have it. And that's not helpful. So I'm going to put a little more paint out. Make sure I have enough to finish this. We're almost done here, right? No, I think it's fairly good. Yeah, you're knocking on the door. Uh, let's see. Where's our water spray bottle? It's right in front of you. Go keep going in front of the in front of the, the glazing. Yeah, get that, keep going. Your hand, yeah, put your hand that way out there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you don't have one of these, uh, Atelier uh, makes these. Um, um, for three ninety five now, it used to be a dollar. Yeah, well, this is to tell you, Jerry's copied this and made one in China, and it used to be buck, and now they want more, and these were more 
But basically, it's a fine mist sprayer, not Windex bottle, but a fine mist sprayer. And because I want my, my paints here, I've got a fan going here, I've got hot lights, and my paints are drying out. So now I want to do a few little connecting branches here, like this, just suggest that there might be um, something in these trees here, like this. Okay. Um, there, you know, just kind of, you want, I just, you got to put them back at some point, right? All right, so put a few branches back in the tree, like that, tone that highlight down a little bit. Okay, now, that makes more sense to me. Now, to do the small stuff, we want a small brush. Here's a little tiny um, uh, quarter inch brush, and I want a yellow and phthalo blue. I want a brighter color, nice bright green color. And uh, maybe put a tiny bit of magenta in that, very little. And now we want to come up like this, make some grasses coming up this way, front of the fence posts, and um, like that. We're going to come along. So this is where all the, the detail is, is in the front, okay? And uh, you want maybe some gold grasses, some darker green ones, but we're going to... Okay, here's some lighter grasses coming like that. And uh, maybe I want some darker green, too. Here, I'll make a dark green color again. And uh, but that's okay, too. You might want to, you, you just want it to sort of show up. And it's not a picket fence. You want the grasses to kind of lay over. Um, and just sort of disappear as you go, go around the bend here, back here like that. And, I'm going to pull some um, uh, of the bank out of the road now, kind of this path, and make it a little bit narrower now. Still, again, just keep uh, changing it a little bit. And then here's some little lighter stuff on top of that. Put a little white with that green, or blue-green color. Okay. So, again, we're just saying there's our path. Now I'm going to put some flowers. I might put a little bit of light here too, kind of some, play with some light, and um, play with some yellow. Let's just, let's just bring this down a little bit, too dark, too much back here. I think we had some pink back there, kind of a pink tone, like that, with cadmium medium and white. Let's just... What is the central focus of this painting? Well, right now it's the tree. When I'm done, it'll be right here with this, with these flowers and these, this, this, this fence. Right now, it's the tree. Okay, that absolutely is. Right now, it's the tree, but it soon will be the fence. Okay. It's and watch be. before your very eyes. So, um, let's start with some little tiny flowers. I would love to see a tour of Ginger Studio. Thoughts? Not, no, not no, a it ain't going to happen. This is a disaster zone right now. Uh, all right, so I've got a few little dots or flowers. I'm just saying the front ones here Those are going to be bigger, right? And then as we a little bit of gold here, and as we go back, the dots get smaller. They're not. You can't have big flowers going back. They've got to get. It's all got to get real small and little. That's one of the rules. You could say that there were some little flowers going back here on the side of the road too. That it would just be more in the patches of color as opposed to anything else. You wouldn't really see the flowers. You might say that there was something growing here, right? And part of me wants to put, um, you know, maybe a trunk that's going out here from this tree over the road, too, like that. I always like uh, tree trunks. I always think that looks so cool when they kind of, you know, how they are growing out here and there. Now, what I want to do is just sort of change um, direction a little bit and then I want to put some yellow and um, cad red medium and do a few little bright orange ones and then uh, since my brush was in water there's a tendency there's really a big tendency to have too much water on the brush because I rinsed it so you got to be really careful about that you get this orange color and a few little dots of orange flowers in here up in the front Okay, and just a little bit, maybe some pure 
Ooh, you that was a big glob. Yeah, you just want it on just the corner of this angle brush, and you just barely are touching it, right? Saying here's a vary the colors, right? Just step. Do you remember that picture we had of the road with the kid and you know with the, with the dog and the road? You know, remember that one? This is a very similar idea to that, right? And yeah. um, so I might say that if I had that over here, I might just uh, tap in the color as opposed to try to you know suggest. You don't actually see the flowers over here. You can just suggest a color. That's the whole idea behind this. Then I had some white and thalo blue ones, or maybe ultramarine blue. I think that was it. Little Is Ginger blue. still enjoying that art mat, or does she miss her colored tabletop? No, I like the art mat. I use it all the time. Look, I've got um, it. It's really great. In fact, oh, guess what? Um, uh, Becky's uh, our friend Becky bought one, and she got a 15 by 15. The smaller one. And she's using it as a, a, a palette. And she said it worked great. She reported back to me. She said it absolutely works like a charm. You just use it just like I'm using this palette. And then you scrape it off and rinse it off. And it's, it's totally reusable as opposed to these, which, you know, you throw away. So it's a much more green thing to do. Does that make sense? If uh, you were going to do a 30 by 40 of this and you have these flowers, do you have to make more detail in the flowers? Yep. You go bigger, more. you got to show the details, you've gotta, guys. You probably want to Google some flowers. Yeah, because you're going to have to start having some real definition of certain types. You know, that might be here and here. I mean, I can get away with this because it's small, right? Yep. And so I'm not trying to get anything too um, um, you know, detailed. I'm going to go do a light. There's always a light and a dark side to every flower. You know, every you know, there's a dark. There's always a little bit of a dark with a, then a little bit of a light. Um, but you might want to Google it because the kind of flowers you in the kind of greenery, and the, you know, would depend on the time of year and what you're saying it is. There's a little bit of this blue coming this way, which I think is kind of pretty. I like these blue shadows on here, don't you? And I don't know what this blue is back here, but it's. I think that was the background. I never painted out. So let's um. Let's just get rid of that. Where are you now? I'm back oh, over here. I'm, I'm way in the background here. I'm just bringing this down here. All of a sudden you disappear. Where there, wherever there's a light, there's a dark. You see, see what I had to do was I had to, um, I had to um, tone down some of this back here so this would show up, right? There. So I've just I tapped in my background so you could see it again, right? Like that. So I think that's kind of cool. Just did a little bit of that. So let's just say this is a little bit of light coming this way. It's looking good. You know, there's our, um, let's see, I think I had, um, I did not put the bob wire fence in, right? Um, I didn't do that, and, and I didn't do a gate. Um, I think that in the photograph there was a gate right about here, but I think it was a little obscure, so you couldn't really see it anyway. So I really didn't do it, but if you were, probably, see this is where it, what happens when you do photographs is that you might want to do a, a cross fence like that and uh, not just have a, these uprights, okay, like that. You might have just one that came down like this and uh, this fence doesn't have to be standing up. Does that make sense? It could be, um, don't do like lots of rows. It's not a jail thing, right? But you might just say that there's a, you know, cross piece like that. I think I'm going to say there's a, something like that with the fence. And I don't like this one right here. I'm going to take it out. This cross piece right here, I'm just going to raise that because I don't like that. There we go. Take that out. And this is why you dry everything in between so you can remove the stuff you don't want. Okay. And now, now we want some sort of little peachy white pe peachy flowers over here that are coming up. They're growing up around here like this. If you paint flowers flower. on the right side, similar to what you did on the left side, it would you get kind really of busy. That gets really busy. Then. Yeah. It just junks it up. Junks it up. Junks it up. That's it, a technical term, people. It junks it up. Junks it up. And you, you, you know, you've got wherever, yeah, you just, you've got to, you know, what can I take away and not ruin the effect? Which is why I didn't put a person bicycling down the road, didn't do any of that. Okay, I want this sort of magenta and white, a little bit pink. There we go, let's try some of this. 
one of some different flowers here. And you may have to dry it to, um, that's the other thing, you may need to dry your painting in between doing all these steps, which I'm not taking the time to do. But for instance, like this is a dark, um, I put that board there, which is very dark, so now I need a very light green underneath it. Do you see that right there? For that to show up, I need a very dark light green underneath that, otherwise that board doesn't show up. So I need to, you know, do something like that. And this is, this is where you need to just take some time. I just should have kept the light where I had it because I had a plan with that. Because when you start changing one thing, you change a thousand things. Does that make sense? You, you change a thousand things when you're changing one thing. Here, like for instance, this fence right here isn't showing up very well. And, I, you know, if I had the, um, I would say there's my light side to it right there, but I don't really want it that color. All right, I'm just going to leave that alone for now and come back to it. All right, so there's this kind of, and I'm sitting there saying, do I like this cross piece? I don't like it. I'm taking it out. I'm sorry. And now how do I take that out? You dry it, okay? That cross piece doesn't add a thing taking it out, okay? You're, you're muted. Okay, she's going to take out that cross piece. Let's zoom in on that activity. I see all the comments going by. See if like everybody's doing all right. Hanging in there. Yeah, well, this is all right. You know, oh, oh, okay. oh, oh, let's not check to see if your mic's on. Is the mic on? I yeah, don't it know. is now. Fine. Let's just start blabbing. Well, I don't know. Just I'm, I'm just saying that when you um, uh, don't like something, don't leave it. Right? For heaven's sakes, don't don't do that. Don't leave it. No buffering all night long. Look at that. Well, was the, did the software work, you guys? Seems to have helped. Did it help? We're very close on the CPU maximizing it, though. What's it, that it, mean? It's a little underpowered for the computer. Is this why we had trouble getting on? No. No. Are you sure? No, that, no, that's still one of my sins. I gotta go play with that. All right. So we, I mean, we tried, and tried, and tried to get on. It said we were on, and we weren't on. I mean, we spent thirty minutes today thinking we weren't going to have a show at all. Yeah, she um, wanted to bail. I go no. I did. I did. I did sort of want to bail here. I just really did. I wanted to. Um, I did. I absolutely wanted to bail on it because I just didn't see we were ever getting on. And. Um, I'm like a pit bull, though, with a bone. I don't John give up. John did not want to bail, which is okay. So just leave a hint of color over here. But you don't need a lot, right? Hint of color over here and a little bit more of that purple. Yellow grays purple because it's opposite itself on the color wheel. I want a little bit of a purpley blue shadow. That's ultramarine blue. I want a little bit more blue here. Here's my color. That was a little bright right there. That shadow, let me turn, tone that down. And, uh, uh, all right, so I think we're, um, I think I want this fence post taller than that one. I had that in the picture. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This wait. One up. That okay. one needed to be up taller. And this was there. And this oh, I thought that one just got broken off a little bit. Well, no, but I don't want them all the same height. You see? Right. I do not want them all the same height. So that's why I made that. But these all have to be. This is too tall, this one's too tall, and too fat. Ugh. I know, but you know, you're sitting there, and I don't know what to tell you, but you've got to finish it. You know, if you're going to teach somebody how to paint, you've got to at least make an attempt to do it right, you know? So this fence post here has to come out. I'm just going to erase it. There. And that one. And that's like. why we love acrylics. Yeah, that's why we love acrylics. Exactly why we love acrylics. I don't like that one either. And I don't like that, you know, but that's okay. I mean, the, the, the brush wasn't behaving the way I wanted it, so I'm just taking it out, right, like that? Because I can do that. I can take I can take it out, and I'm going to dry that and put the gold back, and then I'll put a few little fence posts. But they get smaller as they go back there, and that was too tall. Okay, make sense? Drying? Okay. Jeez, she thinks I have a thousand hands over here. Now, right now, we're on a iMac... Not their newest one, not the Pro Edition, but the one last year's model. And 
video wise is not a problem. Video card, somebody suggested changing the video card, but that's not even running at a quarter percent of capacity. It's the CPU that's getting maxed out. Sure. Whoa, are you okay? No. Should I rush over there and do something? No, I just dropped the hairdryer because it's at an odd place behind me. It just went down on the floor. I'm huh. just having a table back there. Well, it's going to get a timeout. No, oh, sure. I'll tell you what happened to us the other day. We were, um, I, you remember how I kept shaking the cord for the hairdryer to get it to work? Oh, yeah, I remember so that. So John, um, John um, was looking at it, and um, it turned out that there was a freight, unbelievable. Did, we, did you keep that freight cord? No. Do we have it Google somewhere ends. to show people? No. I mean, talk about avoiding a fire. That was, uh, that cord was, um, and it was one of those big orange thick cable cordy things, you know, like the heavy duty, wow, look at those hands, heavy duty stuff. All right, so it's there, lighten that up, right? Now, all right, so that's fine. Now I can go back. I've got this little brush. Now, how high, if I'm saying, it, we're going to bring this one. All right, so we're saying this one, it's a, this one can't be any bigger than that. There we go, see? Get a little closer together. And there we go, little tiny ones back here. This is, there we go, like that, okay. So there's our little fence post as they go back, okay. There we go, all right, so that's our fence. And then maybe, what's this? Oh, that's something on the computer screen, not on my thing. So, um. Hey, thanks, sir, for the donation. John and Ginger have a cold drink on me. We need one, I'm telling you what, this is frustrating. All right, so I'm going to do a few little broken wires here. Yeah, it's frustrating because I don't think we're broadcasting at the resolution we're supposed to be. Really? Well, maybe we'll keep It's open. supposed to be at 720. Can you guys go to 720 if you're not on 720? Can they? Well, it's going to take a while. Oh, wait, it's on 720 HD. Don't have the option for 720 on Wendy's. So well, some people do, and some people, if you don't, then YouTube says you're not getting a fast enough stream, and that's unusual for Wendy because she's got high speed. Hmm. All right, so there you go. See, we're just putting the, pulling that through. Um, I can't believe I'm out of yellow paint already. That is just amazing, isn't it? 720, 720, 720. So what does that mean, 720, John? It's a, that's the DVD setting. That's a higher quality than 480. And we're, so supposed what, to be, we're broadcasting at 720. Yes. And yes. Steffi's is only going up to 480. So what's only, okay, say again, right? This has to do with the resolution, how, how um, sharp the picture is. And how sharp is the picture? Well, at 720, it's DVD quality. Okay. Oh, Wendy's at the in-laws. So that could be why she's 480, not at home. She's traveling a lot. Don't well, go there. Well, I mean, you're not going to get the same thing on your cell phone, right? Uh, well, it depends. Well, we would on ours. I should bring it up on ours. I we have would. 720, but it doesn't look like it. Really? Okay. All right. Well, I, think I've, I think I've done. got it now, you guys. I think I'm just about. Oh, somebody asked, down. should we do? Because I have a picture and a picture of your original one you did, you know, your your sketch one you did, and then this one you had two different light sources. Which one should we follow? Well, there's the one you like best. I don't think it really matters. I think it's. I think they both work. It just was a little harder for me to adjust this one because I had all the shadows in the other place. But I wanted a few a few little birds. Or rather, uh, some of this blue here coming across the road. I, I like this blue color. I, I like, like the blue. The and why blue, do we I like think, the blue? I like the blue, and I like a little bit of this blue in the meadow, too. Kind of blue bonnets and buttercups is really what this was supposed to be. Yeah, if you can go higher, go, go as high as you can just to see what it does. The resolution? Yes, we're back to resolution. Or the blue color. I'm sorry, I'm carrying on a conversation with my friends out here. Well, it must, might, it must be nice, right? There's a little gear that you have if you move your mouse over the viewing window, a little gear over on the right, will let you change the resolution. Oh, when he says the picture looks, well, at 480, it still does look pretty good. Look for the little gear when you move your little hand over the 
play window. It's over on the right side, lower right corner. All right, so Barbara I went higher, it looks fine. Up in here in the front because we're closer. And then as we get back toward the back, we, we get more into the ultramarine blue greens. As we get farther away, the greens get um, more gray green as we go back here like that. Okay. So I'd say that, I would say that that's pretty much it, you guys. I think we're kind of done. Kind of done. Well, that, that, you know, that's a valid thing what for you to that, say. Where did that come from? What, is that dot? No, the sneak streak of brown. It must have been on my hand. I don't even know where that came from. You were just there a second ago with other colors. I, I don't understand where that even showed up. Well, you know what? It's King's X it out, man. It is out of here. It's out of here. It's a little bit of romber with that. Here's our here's our Nell has a look on the T V at four eighty. Okay, yeah, we want to know these things because um Again, there's this software. I mean, we're not kidding. We practically had a, um, you know, trade a limb for one of these. I mean, I'm, I'm telling you what, it was not. They they were very proud. I mean, proud of the software. I mean, I'm. I'm, I'm I, I mean, honestly, I, in all my years of playing with software, I've never spent this much on software in my life. As, as we did today to get this to work. So when we couldn't get live, it just was. Yeah, I crazy. wasn't. I wasn't a happy camper. But yeah. I'm not one to give up. I never give up. All right, see how the, the light's just leading you back down the row here? Just leading you back down the painting, and let's get a little bit, you know, curly stride darker. Let's get a little more light on some of this fence. Okay, okay, like that. I think that's kind of neat. Um, Your phones really usually only get 420 because they're small screen. They don't have to be bigger. Does Ginger use any special lighting in the studio or just whatever? No, there's not whatever. We try to use daylight. <laughs> I read They're a book about bulbs. it. They're daylight bulbs. Daylight bulbs. You really you want that daylight bulbs because the whatever doesn't work. No, whatever does not work. No, whatever does not work. And I'm going to make this a little bit. Um, Is the bright matching colors in the background in need of dulling a bit? What, these back here? Yeah. I don't know. They're kind of bright. I think you're right. I think they could be toned down a bit. So what, you know, oh, the white dot in the middle of the field. Can you fix that one? What? There's a white dot in the middle of the field, right there. Oh, oh yeah. What, where did that come from? I think my hands are dirty. I need to get out my tub of towels. Ooh, let's have a tub of towel commercial. I, look at that. I, look at that. I'm oh, look at those hands. Something. Let's right. back out. Let's have this a tub of towel commercial. Tub, tub, tub of towel commercials. I was just talking to Becky. She said she bought some, and um, and bless her heart, she said, you know, they not only are good in the studio, but she said they got all the water stains off her um, her shower door. And yeah, they're, you know, you could read the container, and they're used for everything. They're really. They, I just found that thought they were great for artists, but they're really designed for house cleaning, which is an interesting concept. Who does that? But you know, if you were one of <laughs> oh, those people, oh, that's just silly. <laughs> if you're one of those people that did that, apparently these things clean everything, and um, I mean they're just awesome. But I really just like how they're cleaning up my fingers and hands, and. Um, they're really, really wonderful, I think. All right, so I, I feel bad about leaving this video up, John. If we've got this bad buffering. Oh you know? no, I'm sorry, people. They, you know, this is the best show they've seen in a long, long time. Uh, do they think so? Are well, that's what think? they're telling me. Really? All right, should we keep it up or take it down? It's your vote, people. Um, all right, we want to. I want to glaze back this. Yeah, back yeah, those guys need to go back a little bit. So we're going to glaze those. That was back. a good observation by whoever well, saw that. We think that who saw that, by the like, way. Well, you know, they're scrolling by. I got some little window. I don't know. All right, so one way we can do that is we could take a little raw umber. Okay. Raw umber. What did you just do? <laughs> just threw some top of a towel. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, I had. Oh, here it is. All right, let me take a little raw umber, and uh, and I'm going to glaze those back. Wendy says, no, you have to leave this video up. Why? It's great. No, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, okay, keep so it, right, keep it up. Raw leave umber, up. right, glazing medium. All right, that's all I'm doing, glazing medium, that's by Golden, and a little raw umber, and I'm just going to tone that back. Oh, that I know it's Judy with the white dot. We're talking about the glazing back. The the, the so field in the back was a little bright. Was a little light, so we're just going to push it back. See, so it's not the same value as this. And I think uh, Jennifer was talking to me today about um, 
in a video pack, and she was trying to understand about lights and darks. And at the end of a painting, what you do is you go turn the lights, and you go either turn on or off the lights, right? Like I might even glaze back this road right here, just a little bit right there. But here it is uh, coming around the corner, and I think that looks uh, ever so much better. I love this meadow. Don't you love this meadow? It's a great meadow. It's a great meadow. It took a little tiny bit of a fence here, but you just didn't need much. I didn't you just suggested it. it. Just to suggest that You're not a making a photograph, people. You already had a photograph. And I think I need, like, right up here in this corner, I, I need a little bit more it. tree. You're right? going to cover off that corner, aren't you? Just a tiny bit. Yep. Just not much. Just right up here like this. I'm like, yep. I, yeah, yeah. coming yeah. in here like that. I knew that was coming. See? This yeah. is on an 8 by 10 canvas. Yeah, so I'm just eight coming by 10. this way. I think on this tree, I'm going to suggest there's more of this tree going that way. So it's a 100% buffer-free evening. Well, which is very nice, right? Very, very nice. And, well, um, it kind of makes us feel good to spend that kind of money for the software to solve that problem. Well, and we can we can do more trickier things with this software too. It just wasn't for buffering. What else can we do with the software that's tricky, John? You said there was tricky well, things. Well, the way it transitions between my scenes, oh, it's so much fun. I can sit here and just zoom in and out and do all kinds of fun Are stuff. Are you with zooming it. in and out? Or is that oh, what you're no. Doing? No, you're not letting me play. Well, I didn't say you couldn't. I'm just. Where no. did I put all these toys? I'm just. Wow. I just feel like just flinging stuff here and there until I find the color I want. Wow, what happened to you? And then your lid came off. See? Look at that. I had the lid and then it came off. All right, I think. Um, I, I'm just going to call it. I, I, part of me wants to spend another little bit on here. Did there's some red that just happened there that I wasn't aware of? I believe so. Uh, now there's some blue. Oh, that's all right. That looks good there. It okay. blends in with what's there. Yeah, leave, leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh, just leave it. Just leave it. Okay. Yeah, that looks all right. Good. I think we better just quit touching everything. <laughs> <laughs> just, I feel like we're calling this one done. You're like, I want to sign it, and call it done. You get the idea of how you might want to paint it, right? Uh, yes and yes. So Ginger, just... you're such a beautiful visionary and artist. Thank you. I mean, again, this was a PMP, paint my photo, photograph. I thought it was pretty, and I put all these extra flowers, and I changed the meadow, and I added some color. And, um, and I think it's kind, of, it's kind of a cool picture, and you just don't want to gook it up with too much stuff. You just want to um, make it sort of peaceful. But, but it made a good lake, too, didn't it, at the It was start? a great lake in the beginning. But, you know, I guess I could put <laughs> this one down. Here's this one with the light coming. still like the light coming from this side. I'm sorry. still do. I don't know. I kind of like that one. Oh, you try to show them side by side. I'm not. I'm not ready to side by side. Can you side by side? Can you? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Go up and top. Yeah, there you go. Can you do them like that? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Hey, um, like Sue Clark it. just made a, a a great comment. What, Sue? I like Have you ever it. used red cellophane to look at your lights and darks? In photography, we used to walk around with a red filter, so it could be shot in black and white in the good old days, and that would show you the tones. So you could see your lights and dark just by holding up a red filter of some type to your eye and look at your picture. Well, you know what? I have it, but um, I usually just take a I take my phone and just take a black and white picture. But I suppose I want to lighten this tree up here, just differentiate it between. See what I just did? It's a good good uh, good uh, comment, though, Sue. That's a good comment. That's a good comment. Um, and I wanted Bottom to ask right Victoria wrote us and said that when she commented on our Facebook page that she's been painting a, she did a terrific job on our lock and she said that uh, she doesn't have any electricity, air, air conditioning right now and I, I was concerned that you d not ever or just it just broke. Yeah, what's the story there? The story, that was a beautiful Victoria. lock. That was one of the rustiest locks I've seen. Well, it was a really good painting. Whereas Andrew's was a very clean, pristine rusty door. Okay, now you see where I'm going back with the lights and darks on this, right? And um, and I need a darker under, just a little bit of dark underneath. Somebody's the asking if this is still alive. Are we still alive? Are we? I, For the most part, I believe we are. Why wouldn't this be live? I'm not sure. Well, because it went on for so late, surely people are still alive <laughs> and screwing around. We didn't get on for till like 8 o'clock. I know. I mean, we just were, you know, I'm sorry, but it was a thing. It was a thing. Yes, wasn't it? It was a thing. I was there. It was a thing. Somebody just said, you know, t you know, there, you know, it was a thing where people were trying to feel really sorry for us. <laughs> oh, this is, she goes, can you communicate with them anywhere and tell them we're not going to do a show? I go, no. 
All right, I'm going to quit. Blue think... in, wait a minute. There's blue in the bottom right corner between the greens. No, oh, up in the top one. The top, no, the top, pink, top painting. See the blue at the very, very corner? No, very, very corner. Up here? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the underpainting. That's the yeah. underpainting showing. That's just underpainting. One, that's just where the underpainting There, is. we'll fix it. There you go. Does that bother you? Sock yeah, it's folder. Gone. It's gone, yeah. I'm telling you. Does Ginger realize she is painting on the old painting? You painted on the old painting, apparently. Oh, well, good, because it, it needed, <laughs> it needed it. it. If you were going to use that as an example, it, it needed it, right? We needed to... Um, oh, never mind. I'm going to just take that off. I'm painting on the old painting when I'm taking it off. And we're going to stop and do the other one. We promised to paint. Hey, is she ever going to give a painting away? She said she would. Hey, let's just take that off there. All right. All right. We'll put this back. We're done. We're done. Calling it a day. This was fun. So it, and thank you. I think at least we know the software works. I thought this was a pretty painting. Um, you know, I love the idea of this painting. I really did. A few little color surprises here with a little bit of a couple little dots of the red and the flowers. That's nice. It just don't. Don't, don't go crazy on me like that. Just okay. Pop those flowers up a little bit right there. All right, are we done? Neat. You've been at this two hours. Have I? Oh, yeah. sorry. Well, Andrew loves it. Glad, glad to have you here, Andrew. Hey, I love your lock. It's a very pristine. Yeah, good job on that. Okay. Now, Sock I'm folder. Try, quit trying to eat my hair and, and keep <laughs> moving on, right? All right. I even so, fed you dinner before the show. What are you doing? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a fast thing of this, and I don't think that will be fast. So this isn't what we're going to paint. That, well, I guess I said we were, though, so. All right. Oh, you know what you call a liar twice in a day. I know. All right, so we're moving all this out of the way. I hope you guys have got the idea. The whole idea behind this whole tutorial was grass goes up and down. That was what you were supposed to learn from this. Grass goes up and down, not this way. Up and down. Or, in a, or at an angle, if you're saying it's a bank. Your brush direction is everything. Do not enter again. If you've already entered once, do not enter again. But if you haven't please. entered, right? If you have not entered, please enter. If you care about this lovely red but background. you don't know what you're going to get. It doesn't matter. It's a Ginger Cook original. Yeah, and if it's just terrible, I'll find something else. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you something. I don't know what. I don't know. The way the night's going, I, I can't guarantee anything. The way the night's going... Um, I can't believe you smashed my palette camera. Who, who, who smashed what? You, you, you who? You, you talking to me, friend? Linda would like to thank you for the grass tutorial. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. I mean, I think it's important. To oh know my! How this this is works. Natalie's first live show. And she, this is, they usually <laughs> go better than this. <laughs> well, uh, thanks for hanging in there, Natalie. Yeah, thanks for hanging in there, Sue, Natalie. do you need to enter again? No, do not enter again. Enter one time only, please. If you haven't entered, you can enter. How do they enter, John, if they haven't entered? Um, the girls have got it handled. I, glad, thank I, you can't, I, I don't have that up there. You know, I mean, you know, this is like two hours. I don't know how late it is for Liz. It's 10 o'clock here. It's 11 o'clock at night, and Liz is still hanging in there with us. Thank oh, you, no, Liz. Liz is, I don't see her name anymore. I think she's gone. I think she, did, she, did she leave? <laughs> I think she gave up on us. Well, but understandably so, right? <laughs> Why do you mean understandably so? We're still way. educating. We're still teaching. I know. You know, at some point you, you, you have to ask yourself the question, how badly did you want to know? <laughs> well, I want to know. You, yeah, inquiring yeah. minds want to know. Inquir you think that's what it is? Inquiring minds want to know? Inquiring minds want to know. Okay, where's the burnt sienna? I will resort the order for the next drawing, so don't worry about when you enter. It's going to be worry resorted. About whenever you entered, you're still good because we're resorting. Like, a, like a Harry Potter's sorting hat. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. Hmm. This is Sue Brooks' first show, too. Is it? We have a lot of first-timers. First well, hey, yeah. Maybe it was a first-timer. Raise your hand. Remember we used to do that on Jigsaw? Oh, yeah. I remember. Well, well those were good, the days. Right? Those were the good old days. Just a little I know Winnie's here. I think um, we lost uh, Lizzie. I'm sorry, Liz Lizzie. is here. I, I haven't seen her talking. Oh, there she is. Well, you know, the best way to, have you ever heard this, the best way to start a conversation is to leave the room? Because people want to know, where'd she go? What's she doing? What's you know, wrong? That, that, you know, you just, just don't part, you know, to leave the room. And I know what this is. This is Burning of Atlanta, isn't it? What? It wasn't the Burning of Atlanta, or what was it, some during the war? Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't paint war pictures. Oh. Well, it looks like you're doing one now. Does it? So far, it's burning. 
Oh, gosh. Well, then, sad me. <laughs> sad me. <laughs> sad me. What, what does that mean, sad me? Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Just um. Uh, oh, watch. I can take that. Oh, I can do a zoomy out and put me back in. Okay. I'm going to come back in. Here I go. Watch me. Look at that. I'm back. So you can only have one, two, three, four things up at a time. <clears throat> so if you have to, if you want to have a picture, you don't get me. Well, or we could get rid of Ginger, which I don't please. think we should do that. Well. No. Does anyone have trouble besides me? Trouble hearing Ginger tonight? You may have trouble hearing Ginger. Gone with the wind. The yep, seat. That's what I said. Gone with the wind. That was burning like Atlanta. You know what was interesting is that, that you know that was a, that set was totally fake. There was no such house or anything. That was the, really for the time. That was a movie was way ahead of its time. Yeah, it was a classic. All right. Okay. So then you're saying. Um, I don't know what you're doing with this one. I mean, you really got me stumped on this one so far. Good. It's always good to. Stump. I think it was a cow burned a town in Ohio. No, that was in um, Chicago. Mrs. Yeah, Mrs. O'Leary's cow. Yeah, Mrs. O'Leary's cow, cow kicked over the lantern. Kicked over the lantern and burned down um, Burned uh, down Chicago. Chicago. Right? Could be burning Phoenix. Well, yeah, I hear Phoenix is pretty hot right now. Is Sammy working with you tonight? Um, you can see him in the background. If you look right there, right where I'm pointing, you can see his little head. He's the backup tonight. We almost had a call in the string. Backup string to take over. Yeah, that was. Um... John is louder for some because my microphone's better. Well, do we need this? Was a I just I can't to keep buying things. Do we need a new microphone? No, we just have to look at what's happening. What does that mean? We have to look at what's happening. What's happening is the thing isn't working. We're, there's nothing brilliant about that. What do you mean? What's happening? Well, I have to put my earphones on and sit here and play with it and try to figure out why it's misbehaving. Well, how, how will you know? Because I can hear it in my ears. You can. All right, so this... Um... Yes, we'll have the sound figured out for next, next week. Or do, make sure you subscribe because we may do an impromptu live sometime during this week to test it again. Yeah, and we and listen. Our new time is uh, except when we're traveling on Sunday is at noon. We didn't tell anybody last week, and we're sorry. Yeah, we're keeping a secret. All right. Twelve just, noon on Sundays now. Twelve p.m. Central Time for Sundays. I'm just going to do this. Mondays will still be seven thirty. Always Central time. time. And yeah, so so we just yeah just um. I need to change the background here and then do something else. Okay. So yeah, that's um. All right. So we're just working on this here, you guys. What do you want for ten minutes? Okay. So then here we go. So all right for the um. All right. Second time we're watching live. First time for the giveaway. First time for the giveaway. Well, Bev, I hope the first show was. I hope that yeah. It was good. Yeah. Right. So make sure when you are subscribed to hit the little bell so you get notified when we go live on an instant live or an impromptu live. Let's see. I kept trying to find my... Sorry. Oh. What? What? I'm just trying to find some paint here. But how far could it have gone? I'm just trying to find my ultramarine blue and I'm not seeing it. Here it is. I'm out of it. So it's, you know. If you did things alphabetically... <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Or at least by colors. I'm just, I have a bin. They go in the bin and then they come out of the bin. This is yeah, but the works. bin's just, it's just, it might as well be a shoebox. It's it not a, a bin, it's a shoebox. It's, it's a bin, man. Don't, don't bug me, it's a bin. All right. Mm. Oh, they're trying to do closed captioning on the fly now. Who is? Who would want closed captioning of flies? <laughs> Close captioning a fly? 
Why would you want a closed captioning of fly? I don't, that seems very odd. That's on the fly, meaning they're trying to do it. Who's trying to do it? YouTube. Oh. As we're having this conversation, they're going to try to put both of us on at the same time, and it doesn't know there's two voices. <laughs> so we're mixing up everything. Really? Looks a bit like Garden on Fire. It does, doesn't it? And, then, and, and I'm still playing with this, right? I don't know. It's still being designed. You know what's going to be yet? Uh, I'm designing it. I do this on the. Fl I do absolutely do this as we go. I'm drying. Hang on. Muting. I would go. dry, but I, of course I have no. Can you get it? Yeah, I got it. All, All right. right, I'm drying. Okay. All right, you. Yep. Um. Oh, on the newsletter question, yeah, I should put already already signed up. That's a good point. I'll try to remember to add that one up. I'll try to remember. I can't guarantee that one, though. And I know it's not muted as much because my microphone is probably pretty much in line with that hair dryer, so it doesn't mute a whole lot. But, hey, we one problem at a time, people. You know, we solved the buffering. What's the matter? No, what's everybody whining about? Well, when I try to turn you down, this microphone still picks up that. Well, you know, it's, a, it's like a real life. There's a hair dryer. Yeah, it's real life. You know what I mean? Just turn your sound down. Well, it's not as loud as it would be if it was there. Did I mute the right mic? Yeah. Or did I? What mic? You know, I think I have you on the wrong mic again. Wait a minute. Let me get my ears. John. Was the other one causing static? Talk for a second. I'm talking. Seriously? Well, you are soft. One more second. Seriously? Now talk. I'm talking. Oh, that could be better. What's talking? You mean you oh, just yeah. you had me plug oh, in? Oh, look at that. I'm, not, I'm looking. What, what are we looking at? Well, uh, you had two mics running, and I was muting the wrong mic. Well, that would be... Ex ex so now, now I can hear you. Okay, let's start the show over. Who's up for saying it for another two hours? <laughs> Come on now, people. This is the marathon here, man. This we is are our going marathon. for it. This is our marathon show here. Honestly, gosh. I still want to do that sometime. Right? You do what now? Do a marathon show. And uh, auction off the pieces that are being done. Do a bunch of six by eights. Oh, speaking of auctions, you guys, do you remember Daniel Elliott, who was with us last week, last Monday, and we said that the first of the month we would put his painting in our gingercookauction.com uh, and all the money... You know that that the, that we would normally receive from the auction will go for Daniel's piece will go directly to him. You may remember that he had been the manager of Jerry's, and had a rather unexpected retirement. We should give him a retirement party, John. We should. We should give Daniel a retirement party. That'd be fun, kind of a meetup retirement party, and, and we could get together with some of Cinnamon's. You know, everybody. Yeah. And just uh, party on. Party on, right? Hey, everybody's saying let's start the show over again. They're ready to do a marathon show. Just a ginger thon. A ginger thon, right? Yeah. Um, well, it's an interesting thought, isn't it? I would watch a marathon. Yeah, we, we have to schedule that. We, we, we should do that, though. I think it would be fun. Popcorn peanuts run to the concession for fries before the next show. Oh, Judy, you're so funny. Um, that's, uh, you know, I'm telling you. Well, for some of us insomniacs, um, you know, uh, that just sounds great, right? <laughs> I'm going to be up anyway. You might as well come. Uh, uh, now, let's see. I'm just going to. Carlina made a donation. This was the best show ever. Thank you was all it? for that. You guys, you see, think it's it was? <laughs> I'm going, really? I, I feel like it was such a disaster. You're making me feel so much better. Thank you. Oh, now, now they can hear you, so now they like it. <laughs> now they like what? Like it, like the show, because now they can hear you. Oh. Thank you very much for the donation. It's very much appreciated. All right, and they just, want a ginger thon. Okay. So I was just thinking. A bit, I don't know where I was going with this. I just wanted something. Um, let's see. Where's, where's my... I wanted to... Uh, yes, best show ever. Look at that. Do you think I'm so? I'm in for a marathon any time. I don't sleep anyways. Insomniacs Unite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I can see us promoting that one. Yeah. That, well, I mean, at some point we would um, we would have to promote something like that, wouldn't we? Oh, absolutely. We'd have to sit there and say we could do that. And, I laughed uh, so hard I almost sprayed my laptop with coffee. I don't believe the show was funny at all. There's nothing funny that we do. Well, the beginning of it was very funny when we were laughing, but I don't think anybody could hear us. <laughs> I mean, when we were laughing, and actually I was in, you know, just, um, you know, I thought it was, you know, the beginning of this was very funny, you know. Um, just myself, I thought, you know, it was very funny. Okay, there's these 10-minute paintings that turn into this Gilligan Island Ginger's and Gilligan's <laughs> Island paintings. Things, right? <laughs> Do you remember that? The three hour tour? The three hour tour that ended up being a. Uh... You know, and they're stuck on a desert island here and it just. Um, um, the six, yeah, the six 10 minute painting show was close to a marathon, given that it took 30 minutes each. Yeah, that was a fun show. I want to do that one again. That's what I think we're going to do. Yeah, this... I have to get her well rested, though, before we do something like that. I'm still trying to decide what color I want to make this um, this vase. Well, it's acrylic, so you can keep changing it. I know. Don't you love acrylics that you can just keep changing your mind as long as I um, want to keep uh, keep playing with the vase here? I don't know. Let's see. What am I got here? Some sort of color here. You know, you I, I'll put a color down, all right, just so anybody's wondering what I'm doing. I'll put a color down. If it doesn't look right, I'll change it, right? <laughs> Just, uh, you know, if I don't don't think it's going to do it, right? And uh, again, we're out of yellow. See, this is the stuff that happens to me all the time. I should really put the yellow out somewhere because I always think I'm using more of that than normal, right? See, then the problem is you start laying them all out, then you go back to the tub thinking you put them in there, and they're no longer in the tub, and then they're out somewhere, and they're buried under something. I know. This is the life is a... <laughs> Is that another gingerism is problem? Life, life is a challenge sometimes, the way I do stuff, but that's okay. I guess we should come back after the show and read the chats. I, I guess so. Yeah, Everything you know, says read the chat. Yeah? That's what they're saying. Read the chats after the show? Yeah? Yeah. Um, well, we could do that. <laughs> we could, we could, we could, but it's not going to happen tonight. Well, I don't, you know. Well, it takes a while, you know. If somebody's going up, let's see. Let's let's just bring this up a little bit. You can make it the same Even height. With, yeah, I'm going to make it the same height. I wasn't going to originally, but then it, that's probably how I would have built the height, the gate, two different heights, and then wonder why it didn't close. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something's two wrong come with my gate. It won't close. Yeah. Come fix it, <laughs> right? Probably something like that, right? Yeah, happens all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to suggest some bricks here. And, and we've got stone here because they ran out of bricks. <laughs> <laughs> it was cutbacks. <laughs> it was a cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Brick and stone, nothing wrong with brick and stone. Well, apparently not because of, you know because we got it here, right? Like that, we we we've got it. Here we go. Ginger is more organized when she's not organized. That's not encouraging, there, Peggy. Okay, so what do you want to say happened here? I'm thinking about it. Give me a second. It's coming to me. What do I want to say happened all through here? You know me and um, old stones. Yeah. Um. And old bricks. The chats before the show are not recorded. Really? No, we can't see those. Um, but they were fun, right? Apparently. Huh. Well, we reached our limit. I wonder, well, what did we do? We did hit two hours. We hit 2.15. And that's all you get? I think so. Huh. Well, do, do we do this a, a live drawing? Are we over the show here? So we just tell somebody. Um, oh, wow. <laughs>